Here's uh, Oil and Water, Anthony. Yeah. By Mac Harrell, doing the top five Gulf oil spill songs. What's up, Patrice? New Orleans oh. is real quiet. Quiet. Oh. The seabirds all are gone. Are they? Even folks on Bourbon Street don't party on. And do you want? No, I bet they do. By you, the way, you want to take this instant feedback on? Uh, Ian from sure Colorado. Ian, fuck New York City. Uh huh. Yeah. What do you guys do for the world? Oh yeah, sarcasm and negativity. Oh <laughs> yeah, fuck New York City. You know the pinnacle of the free world. Shut up. Where's he from? That that means this guy likes these dopey songs. Where's he from? Like I said, Colorado. Oh, Colorado. Colorado's, I like Colorado. What a fucking... I don't mind Colorado. What an but asshole. You have to goof on these songs. They're getting nothing done. Shut up, Mr. Landlocked. And these guys, Just sit there. These are struggling no beach, artists. No beach, motherfucker. <laughs> these are struggling artists that, that, that see an opportunity here. They don't. I, yeah. I, I bet you if you interview them, they don't give a shit. One fucking shit about what's going on down there. Oh, no. but they they think to themselves, oh, this might be a way for uh, people to discover my fucking talent. The blues suck. They're, it's the monotonous, fucking redundant garbage. Has been for years. Mm -hmm. Go. Even folks on Bourbon Street don't party all night long. Yes, but they, they do. do. You think the they people on Bourbon partying. Street? Do you think the whores you with the beads idiots. showing their pussy and their tits give a fuck about an oily pelican? How many days before? <laughs> they don't care. They're showing their tits. They're drunk. Even after Katrina, which I think was the five-year anniversary this past weekend, by the way. Yeah. They opened that shit pretty of fucking course. quick, considering. There's oil, uh, an oil spill out in the Gulf, and you think Bourbon Street, they're not fucking drinking hurricanes? Right. They, they... Hurricanes, Alice! <laughs> <laughs> they were drinking hurricanes, I would bet, a week after fucking yeah. Katrina. I think, I think they might have closed for a week before some of those places started opening Give up. Give me again. some beads! <laughs> and my tits! Yeah, that's not happening because there's oil in the Gulf? <laughs> this guy's delusional. Idle shrimp boats drift in rows like lambs led to slaughter. Really? The fallen tide just Water. leaves a residue. Yeah. I'll fuck your daughter. <laughs> oil and water. Oil, oil and water. water. Oil and water don't mix, but vinegar, if you shake it, makes a good dressing. <laughs> Oil and water don't mix like the races. <laughs> we got to split up black and white like oil and water. That'd be great if this whole song was just about separating the races. Water is clean. <laughs> Oil is filthy. Nobody likes mulatto water. <laughs> 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 <I'm> a lot <laughs> of water. <laughs> uh, Nobody likes tainted clean water, <laughs> dirtied by filthy black oil. <laughs> that water will never come to my house again. <laughs> water is a gift from the Lord, spoiled by dirty black oil, <laughs> sullied by dirty black oil. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like uh, he sounds like our favorite. Man, fucking uh, help me out, uh, Edmund uh, Fitzgerald. Guy. Oh, the Edmund oh. Fitzgerald. Uh, Gordon Lightfoot. Lightfoot. Sounds Sounds a little quarter of life footage. On the beaches of Louisiana, and a lot of oil <laughs> got on pelicans. <laughs> pelicans. Oh, you can just make that song about anything. <laughs> a camera cruise in Florida. Yeah. Neil Diamond. The president. Right? Yeah, when Neil there. Down. He's kneeling on an empty beach. With black mud everywhere. Oh, oh we Woo! know what he's talking about there. Whoa! <laughs> I thought oh. there was going to be a little trouble with that uh, line. Now he's not That's even right. hiding his blatant right. racism. He's making the beach even dirtier <laughs> by kneeling his black skin with black oil on pure white sands. <laughs> <laughs> dirty racist. <laughs> dirty racist. Just saw an opportunity to get his dirty racism yeah. out there. You, you think it's about the environment and no. cleaning up the beaches, and it's all about splitting the country down the middle and dividing the races with a fence. <laughs> but everywhere, uh, but out there's guilt for every creature lost. The blame game's getting hotter. Tragedy and politics 
Oil and water. Like oil and water. Water could be at my diner counter, but oil can't keep it out of here. When my girlfriend bathes in water, I'm happy. When she bathes in oil, I yell at her like Frank Vincent in Jungle Fever. A little wordy, Jim. A little wordy. It works. It works, though. I like wordy Jimmy. Uh, Jim. Wordy Jimmy to get his point across. <laughs> Oh, I want to get my friends on horseback with crosses because there's oil on my daughter. <laughs> A curly hair on her pillow. Jimmy's really getting into it. He's closing his eyes, yeah. swinging his head back and forth. The worst thing is oil and daughter. Yeah, that would be it. <laughs> The white knights defending the church in the honor of White Sands. <laughs> Got it. White Sands. <laughs> Little water. Yeah. yeah. What's next? <laughs> We're going to the end with this one. That's right. 500 years ago, I could have bought her. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking racist. <laughs> we don't even know, but <laughs> kind of sounds like it. <laughs> uh. We survived Katrina. God tried to wipe them out. God, God tried to wipe them out. He tried to cleanse all the oil with water. Oh, shit. Imagine you've come up with a song like that. Here's my fucking tribute song. To... And it's such a badly, right. thinly veiled. Oh, yeah, just. Oh, and just in case at the end, he's like. Oil is a euphemism <laughs> for nigger. <laughs> Just in case nobody Just fucking in case. knew. Yeah. Get the subtle message. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to make sure everyone yeah, gets yeah, his yeah, message, yeah. right? Uh, in case it went over, everybody's Just in case. Right. <laughs> Why won't oil work? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty oil taking all my jobs. <laughs> He's just running out oil of Oil taking welfare <laughs> and Stripping us dry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. We survived Katrina. And we'll endure this too. It's just one more disaster. That we'll find our way through. Yeah. The mighty Mississippi. Keeps flowing to the sea. It'll keep rolling there long after you and me. Ah, it's depressing. a living legacy for wayward sons and daughters. Ah, uh, water healing all our self inflicted wounds. Oil and water. <laughs> you didn't like that app? No, another fucking bit of drivel. Who cares? Because it's all horseshit. Gives a shit. It's not getting it's done. anything done. It's not even on the news anymore. It's capped. You know. Oil went away somewhere. Right. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck it. Went somewhere. I just know when I order a jumbo shrimp cocktail, it's delicious. <laughs> oh, cocktail sauce. Fuck. Not a speck of oil in it. Try a little uh, horseradish, maybe. Oh, it's wonderful. Take any oil taste away that may be there. Yeah, there's you're, nothing. You're, you're braver than me. The oil comes out. No seafood. Oh, come oh, on. Like seafood, eat food, I Get say. the fuck <laughs> out of here. Right. I don't care where they're saying it's from. That Sunoco salad you can <laughs> right. yeah, exactly. It just Good went shit. away. What are you, an <laughs> asshole? You just, oh, you just it's gone. It. They can't even you? find like, it. It doesn't know that in the fucking kitchen they're wringing out the jumbo shrimp. Oh. There's so much oil still See, in them. you know how <laughs> big right. the Gulf of Mexico is. Yep. And how many how gallons? Big it is? How many gallons of oil per gallons of water is in the Gulf of Mexico? Per it's gallon? Not, it's it's moving around like the blob. It's, it's not killing. that. It's, it's the world's broken. largest lava the lamp. The sun hits it. It degrades. It <laughs> you fucking know? Get the fuck goes out to the here. bottom. It Enjoy fucking sits shrimp. there. Ah, everything's fine. You're crazy. You ah, they You're made crazy. a big deal out of it. It was nothing. You know what I want you to do when you go home? Yeah. Is just go and put a whole gallon of olive oil. In your sauna, 
Yeah. And sit in it and see. And my jacuzzi. He does it every time he gets in. Yeah. yeah. And, just, and just put it in there and see what Here's happens. Here's what it would amount to. <laughs> Me taking an, uh, an eyedropper and putting one drop of, of oil in my jacuzzi. Who told you this? That's it. Think how much water is in the Gulf of fucking Mexico. I can't refute it because I didn't do any fucking research. Uh, but it sounds wrong. <laughs> you tell me how many <laughs> gallons of water is in no, the Gulf they, of Mexico. They sort of said that's what it's like. Nothing. Believe Who it or not. said that? Who's they? The BP. people that want you to believe it. <laughs> BP. <laughs> BP. <laughs> BP. A bunch of English people. Fucking Mr. Bean told uh, It's you. nothing. I wouldn't worry about it. No, <laughs> blimey. It's wonderful. Uh, Actually, it's good for your skin, don't you know? Yes. Anthony John from Harrisburg. Jay Moore also wrote a golf, uh, golf song. Did he? This guy wrote golf song, but it's golf. golf. Uh, the oil is rocketing out of the earth like you who. <laughs> <laughs> look, Rocket look. like you who. I invented it. Finally, the last Gulf oil spill song. This was in USA Today, by the way. So they took this oh. very seriously. I'm sorry we can't do the same here on the Opie and Anthony show. All right, here we go. The Gulf of Mexico holds approximately 650 Quadrillion gallons. What's a quadrillion? Of of what? That is a bunch. How many of zillions? Trillions. Is that, is that zillions? That's, that's something to do with four. That would be. Is that zillions? There is no oh. such thing. A zillion is a made up word. Yeah. Zillions. So where it do we go? Billions. It's and, billions. And after billions is it's billions. It, is it billion? Trillions. A billion billions. Billion. Then, what's a quadrillion? Million billion. <laughs> Quadrillion. There's also quintillion. Trillions. And this is. What do you mean? There's no zillion. Glillion. There's no, no such thing as zillion. Really? Watch this. The, quadrillion is the between. The Gulf has a zillion gallons, gallons yeah. of right. water. Quadrillion is between actually million and shitload. Uh, thank you. That, meaning a zillion. And a shitload. Uh, how many gallons? That's the definition of zillion. No, that quadrillion. You can't even wrap your fucking mind around that. Let me tell you. According an estimated. 20 or 210,000 gallons a day. This is based on if the shit, the information's right. Or whatever. Estimated gallons leak. That shit just kept coming out. Yeah, yeah. Fast. Real fast. Yeah, but but it's such a huge fucking gulf. Right. Well, let's get to the last song. Just don't worry about it. Here's the last Everyone song. Everyone relax. <laughs> Have shrimp. Have yeah, clams. You, you have clams. Have Are you crazy? Lobsters. It's fucking, wonderful. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you and your petroleum wonderful. claws at Red right. Lobster. They're just petroleum claws. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your seafood stew. God, I you love it. Fuck, no, get the fuck out of here. Everyone relax a little bit. Really? That's what we get. All our fucking songs. fish is up in that bullshit. It's wonderful. It's still great. It's pristine. What do you, you get your jumbo shrimp with a side order of plutonium? <laughs> you nah, fucking, it's fucking weirdo. Great. Now, Stop wait a minute. Is, is unfiltered oil dangerous, though? Is it more dangerous than the oil we get that we put uh, in our cars or whatever? I don't think so. It's more it's natural, I guess. How many, how many gallons is that? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 206 million <laughs> gallons of oil spilled. Well, that's a lot, no matter how you slice yeah. it. That's a lot of fucking oil. Not in 650 quadrillion gallons of water. But yeah. it's, but his, you know what? There's a there's a logic missing here. I just uh -huh. I just, I just realized what the logic. Patrice is. Patrice O'Neill, by the way, obviously. It, yeah. it didn't the, inter, in, introduce you yet. <laughs> the logic is, it's not. It's it's just constantly there. It's floating around. It's fucking up life. I don't think the there's sun breaks it down. Six million and... gallons of oil within this. It's like I'm saying. It's like if you put a salad dressing in your bathtub. And that little piece is not on you there, but it's just in your bathtub. It's moving around. It's moving around, around. And just fucking with you. You stay away it's from there. it. You stay away from it. There's plenty of other places. Well, your logic is like it fills up the gulf and the gulf is all. It's the logic is that it's. It's, it's flushing there around. And it's fucking shit up. It's sunk already. It's fucking it's the, the sun. Sand. The sun broke it down. The, you're just making this shit up. The sun doesn't uh, do that. Ah, the sun a breaks it down. Ants a, <laughs> ants a fuck the world type person. You're not going to convince you're not them gonna, of anything. No, I, I'm a you can't fuck the world kind of guy is what I am. Oh, yeah. In the end, you're right. I am. We, the we world will be, yeah, so the mighty world will be fine after we're long yeah, gone. I wouldn't yeah. worry about it. And you know what? How many fish are swimming through that stupid fucking cloud of oil? Not many. Know what? The, know what's funny about? Not many. Here's something, and after we're long gone, the Earth will take its 
the Earth will take its million years and heal itself. And just yeah. grind us out of existence. All right. and it'll everything just take... we built, everything we knew will just be gone, and... eroded away like the mountains. And it'll just sit there for a million uh... years because it can. And it'll be just fine. The Earth got <laughs> rid of be fine. entire mountain chains right. have been just decimated to flat desert. And oceans were dried up and made into mountain chains. You think anything we make is going to have an impact on this fucking planet? You think in the but end? But the thing is, we're living. That's the problem. You think then. in the yeah, end? Who gives well, a shit about it, people? But you think in the end, what we're doing to the Earth is just a scratch? It's nothing. And then the Earth's like, eh, that was that was cute. The Earth can now wait just like, sit here and heal like a dog with a flea. It's just because I don't know what the time shake. is. The Earth doesn't know what time is. We just sit for the big shake that the dog right. does when it has an itch. Yeah. Hmm. Cares. Unless we blow up the Earth, the planet. which I don't think we can even possible, blow up. You obviously. can't blow up the Earth where it's going to crack. That's what I Unless mean. Unless we crack that, it in half. That's what I mean. That's about it. But you've seen history of of how Earth was made. Yeah, it, it was made. It, uh, there was phenomenon that like caused us to even have air. It's like oh, things yeah. that happened. Amazing. That fucking that, that mean that shit. That thing is yeah. God, Patrice. It was a. a <laughs> I believe that. And it, yeah. it, it was a, a ball of fire at one point. And then yeah. it's, now it's what we live. And we're in just in the middle of, of its transformation. It's going to be something else. Yeah, it's just Soon. constantly evolving you know, and turning into something. Absolutely. Yeah. Who created God? They, that's, the, that's the thing that's I have a problem with people I get, that don't believe in God. That's when I shiver at night and, 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 and get real scared. Yeah, that, the, But that's the, the faith the, part what of it. Is God, yeah, but yeah. how did that come about? It's thinking. What? Doesn't matter. How did well, that that's come like, about? That's like the space is infinite, and then oh, you know, that's crazy. It just keeps going on and on. There's no end. And then, when, as a kid, you're like, no. Then it ends. But then you what's, go, what's behind, what's behind the wall? Yeah, yeah. What and the problem with space is that it's not. It's not what we think it is. It's not just. It's not just something. No, it's to do just this. emptiness. It's, that keeps it's, going. It, the reason, the, the one thing I learned from uh, is that the the sun, what the orbit is, is the sun is pressing down within dark matter it's yeah it's does, something that it exists it's like it's it's like this table but it's but how know, does space solid. end it, it doesn't end i think it folds then, up that's what the black holes then, are and wormholes after the folds what's out there they'll find a way to travel through all that shit but what's yeah. what's after the folds another place in the same yeah a nigga like juggling space. it's just a motherfucker, <laughs> 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 motherfucker playing basketball and shit that's what, <laughs> god's farting that's what earthquakes it's just <laughs> our life means nothing <laughs> <laughs> You know, but that's why I'm not scared of the asteroid because all it's like you know the, the big asteroid is coming. Yeah, and yeah. It's coming in like 110 years, and I'm like, look, I'm not a vampire, nigga. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, they'll figure out how to fucking blow yeah, up fuck, an asteroid. Fuck, in fuck my grandkids. Years. Hit it. Your, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, your yeah. fucking old rotted body will be shooting into the fucking cosmos when the <laughs> asteroid hits. Good luck. To you. Who cares? The sun is just going to envelop the Earth. That's all that's going to happen. In a few billion years, the sun's going to burn out. I know the gases are going to expand it, and it's going to probably gobble up the first uh, three or four planets or yeah. whatever, and that's it. Then what happens? We're and, done. And then the sun be bigger, so then the like, then it shrinks. A few of the a few of the planets down the line might actually that's turn into. That's why I want to live forever. I just want to see like all this shit happen. Earth. Yeah. Oh no. I would yeah. Love to see. Yeah. I would love to see the next planet. Yeah. Maybe Jupiter will have some fucking. Yeah. You know what I mean? I Maybe wanna... the sun gets a little bigger, and then Mars fucking decides yeah. to you know get you, some life on it. You think there'll be a generation that actually. Hops to another planet. That whole fucking Battlestar Galactica but shit. But I mean, like, <laughs> you're born, and by some time in your life, you're actually hopping to another planet. How cool would that be? I don't think that's going to happen mm. here. Well, well not I mean, anytime soon. Travel, but I'm just saying, at the speed of light, which is very difficult. But I'm just saying, well, you can go can to you another imagine? planet. But Definitely. I mean, hopping to live. That's it. You can make it to Mars. Oh, like the fucking uh... last ship out. I would, you know, what is it, like, uh, what's that stupid, what's the Will Smith movie, the, the big one? Uh, Independence Day. Yeah. That Like them, like those people. Yeah. They just they just traveled around raping. Fucking people destroying up. Destroying planets, yeah. and they weren't here for friendship. Maybe we should do that, because that's how we are. We wouldn't go someplace and go, hi, we're here for peace. We'll just, like, no, we'll like... go, there's some peaceful fucking aliens with three fingers and suction cups. <laughs> just <laughs> suction cups. Fucking saying hello to us, and just, we'll just fucking kill them. Just yeah. start hacking them just, apart. Just and think American and, Indians. And bullets are a big-time <laughs> fucking, big-time, uh, 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 you know, 
technology for them. Like, we don't need, that ain't and not a ray gun. We just oh, go down there and just crazy. start yeah. nah, shooting they're... those triangle heads and those big eyes. <laughs> when it goes down, they're going to laugh at us and what, what we think we have to protect ourselves. I hate the fact that we're stupid. At, 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 we're the low, every alien is better than us. Yeah, 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 we're always the dumb ones. Yeah, what if we're just. <laughs> what if they're really good at building ships that can go places, but nothing else? And hiding behind clouds. And yeah, niggas yeah. love building pyramids, but I'm going to tell you something. A Glock to the fucking giant big eye <laughs> temple. Boom. <laughs> really fucking. So dead. Yeah. <laughs> really. Wah, 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 no. wah, really. Bow. Right in his stomach. <laughs> yeah, they cut off the ship. That's where his dumb heart is, is in his fucking belly button. Just start unloading on him. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a force field. Look, you can shoot that mother. <laughs> hey, why don't we uh, play the last golf song here? Oh, yeah, please. Why, you want to get everybody teary-eyed? This yeah. is uh, Frank Friesten. Get a little misty. Song called Written, I guess. Written. Yeah. <laughs> nice 80s midi. <laughs> song about the golf. Surprised they're not singing about Exxon. I uh, tell you, though. You don't miss yep. the water till the well runs dry. You don't miss living till it's taken from your life. Uh -huh. You can't see the underworld's poison in the sea. But I can tell you what it's done to me. What? What is it done to me? in the wings. A bird's on a fire. Creatures Isn't this like Jesus take the wheel or something? where to die It's written in scars To seep into the soil Drilling down the road With futures in our hands Our hands upon our hearts Our freedom was the one To tear it all apart yeah. Which way do we go now? Future's not in our hands. Oh, God. It's in Big Oil's hands. She's got her they, fucking... They'll decide. She's on the rag. How much of the fucking earth they're going to destroy. Mm. Not us. The children and their toil Drilling down for us I, 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 I'm done with this bit. No, I can't I'm, I'm take just, her. Why? I'm getting emotional. I'm just fucking These done. These are good. I can't take her. It's a stupid, stupid song. All right, we're going to take a break. Patrice O'Neill in studio playing yes. the DC Improv. Thanks for having me, guys. Certainly. Patrice, I got to tell you, man, last time you were in, I was uh, out sick. And your Lady Gaga bit, I'm still laughing over. Oh, that I am still uh, laughing at that fucking bit. Back, <laughs> back. <laughs> I think it's online. People are just loving it, man. Yeah, that fucking that bit is, so is fucking one for funny, the ages. Man. Goddamn Gaga. Really, Lady really fucking Gaga. funny. But uh, Patrice is going to be at the DC Improv this weekend. My favorite place. You love that gig? That's a great club, isn't DC it? Improv. I've it's never done it. One. I did a number spot there once. One. I've never done a fucking uh, full weekend there. They don't like you. No, I no. It's just... an, I don't know the love an average white boy gets. Sometimes you get love. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a racial country. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, but it's very well, cosmopolitan. A lot there. of white people come out to see me. Yeah. You, you sell out these folks. gigs. I love, I love that's That's one yeah, of my favorite a, gigs. That's man. a solid place. Philly's up in there. Northeast is big for me. So get your fucking tickets now for the DC Improv this weekend, right? Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday, one show Sunday. DCimprov.com. God damn, Patrice. You just entertained us during the break. X-ray machines at the airport. Yeah, I'm just. We gotta, know. we gotta bring that to the show. <laughs> what X-ray machines? Yeah, man, your your <laughs> thoughts on the airport and how you had to deal with an X-ray. That's what you were talking about yeah, the X-ray machine I mean, in L.A. I, it was in L.A. I, that's my first uh, X-ray machine uh, sighting. Yeah, you know, it was the first one. It was it's really creepy looking. It's one of those total recall things where you, you get you see right through the clothes and you could see uh, people's uh, and you just uh, see the wee willingness, wee the willing, the willingness. Of everybody to just comply to go through like, right. the willingness of the workers. Mm, we were talking about this last week. It's uh, unbelievable. You want people to rally with you. No one wants to rally. The, the willingness of the workers to just fuck you, and 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 also the lack, the 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 lack of a uh, you know if you ever watched um the Mahujadeen workout and oh, like uh, you you see that those are a, a top of the line murderers. Right, right. But but. Our top of the line murderers are, are trying to fight like they're over there fighting, but they have top of the line murderers here trying to kill us. So there's no bottom rung murderers. We have bottom rung people protecting at the airport. I mean, really out of shape, 
little Mexican mm-hmm. guys at LAX, uh, weird looking Ethiopians in, <laughs> Mineo- in uh, Minneapolis, mm-hmm. um, c- fat black bitches in Newark. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And those are our our lines of defense. That's our Attitude. first line of defense. I had an argument with one of them bitches. I mean, not not a not a a, a business argument. But like I said, when she was going through my bag, we have to check in for bomb material or whatever. And I'm just like, look at, you know, you know what? Unpack my bags, right? And she's like, no. I said, be careful, be careful with that sugar draws. She goes, why? <laughs> it's nothing but a bootleg videotape. Like it, she's arguing me like she's a bitch. She's fucking debating right. you on that I, that I your, met on in your the goods. street or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. She's just like, so she's she's checking my shit. So this is a bitch that's you know, but it, our, our 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 head of the thing. So I never been, I never seen the X-ray machines until L.A. I went, you know. Can, can I stop for a second? I, I love the fact that you you despise authority. Maybe not despise, but you really get frustrated by authority in general. No, I tell you, I figured it out. I don't get frustrated by authority. We've flown anymore. with you, man. You get just annoyed, and I don't blame you. I, I don't because I you know it's all just phony shit. It's people that I. The idea mm. of most things. There's only a few ideas in the world that. In itself is awful. I can't think of many, but like the idea of the police is fantastic. <laughs> the idea that somebody's there to help you if you're in trouble or blah blah blah. But the but the actual people that there's a person that you go hell hey I need help and they go calm down sir what's going someone's stabbing me in my neck sir can you tell me where you <laughs> calm down there's a fucking <laughs> stabbing in my neck. I'm trying. Someone's <laughs> killing me. <laughs> Omar Thornton. Omar Thornton. Calm down, Mr. Thornton. Oh, I'm calm. I just, you know, mm. I'm done killing everybody. Yeah. Calm down, nigga. It's like <laughs> I'm done killing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna be killing anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's not the, it's just the people, dude. That's all. Yeah. So yeah. you're watching. Look at the X-ray machine. If I thought it was what it was for, and that's all it was for. Um, that's fine. You know, whatever, dude. I mean, the Total Recall shit was fun to look at. Yeah. But the compliance, because you can't just go through, like, Total Recall and there's a guy looking just at... Just keep walking. You have to stand there <laughs> and just... And you raise your hand. Put your it's, arms it's up. It's all... Sub, it's just submission on your knees. And I tell people, like, when I go through, sir, can you take... I say, I'd rather have the check. You know, and, and I say, because I, I dressed at the house. I don't want to get undressed here. I don't. I might have a foot problem. I have, you know. I wait, wait, have, wait. What's the problem that you don't like doing? Taking your shoes I off. I don't like to get undressed. Like you when, don't like taking a hoodie off or whatever, whatever you're wearing it, or a jacket. I keep anything on that I can. You can keep your hat. You can keep your jewelry. It's they tell you to take off. The, the only thing that's that you have to take off, shoes. And uh, sweaters, right. button-up sweaters. You keep button-on shirts. You know, I, I'm trying to. You can keep your hat on. You, you mm-hmm. don't have to take your hat off. Um, you have to put your computer in. It, it. You know, I understand. You know, moving faster, but I just you like to feel a little bit of freedom, a little bit. Are you so you basically just because you, you're like they're not going to tell me to take all the. It's more of a principle thing than it's anything just else. A principle thing. Uh, you know, it's just it could, because it's not. If I thought it was really about safety, I would. And you're watching this fucking these people hold their hands up. You have to there's there's assume the position, and it only makes horrible people more horrible <laughs> and more lazy. That we that we don't have. And I mean, I I, I travel a lot. Of people, probably, there's probably some TSA people that listen to the show. You're not the most. You're not our top physical. I've heard conversations about I need I I get off in an hour. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. the Mahujadeen is trying to murder you with shampoo. We can't have people who are trying to catch Maury because yeah. they've been on since 12. <laughs> ah, yes. We can't have that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So those are who you, you're giving lesser people than you on a regular basis power over your life. And they don't even know the fucking rules. So I just go, look, can you say no to the x-ray machine? I'm just letting people know if you don't want to take the x-ray machine, you don't have to. Right. But when you go through, the plan is to fucking hassle you as much as they can so that you next time go through this fucking you machine. go through the machine because I went through and um, I beeped. So it was my belt. So I said, just check me, man. So he goes, uh, mail assist. No one's coming. Five minutes. Mail assist. Meanwhile, my computer's being, you know, the fucking Fred Flintstone conveyor belt music. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. 
dun, 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 falling on my shit. My t- it, by the time I get to my fucking computer, there's seven boxes on top. I'm like, sir, my, my computer's over there. My wallet. I put my wallet in my phone and my shoes. Oh shit! And I'm like, my shit's right there. Calm down, sir. That's who. Calm down, calm sir. Down, calm down. down. So I'm like looking like crazy nigga. Give me, look. Can you put yourself in my position, Mexican kid, who? <laughs> tase him. Yeah, tase him. That's what I'm saying. Don't tase me, bro. My heart can't keep up with that shit. The question is, though, you're not willing to put yourself in his position. Like, even though he is just a Mexican kid, their idea is, look, we got to do this to search people going through. And this guy, who is probably almost definitely not a terrorist, is giving us a hard time. Why? That's probably their position. Like, this guy is not. They know Patrice not a terrorist. That's why, though. They know he's not. And why are they giving him a hard time? I don't think they should. But I don't. Uh, the X-ray machine, I don't comply. care about. Everyone should go through it. Comply. Everyone, comply. It's it's so weird, dude. To co- just that we just go. Okay, we're scared to death. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just saying it's not because I'm trying to be a, a crusader. Because yeah. when it comes down to it, I don't want to get butted in the head with a gun. <laughs> but I'm 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 saying it's like they give these people orders and they follow them. It's like the Abu Ghraib bitch. The first time I looked, I said. Do you think that bitch did that on her own? She was instructed to do what she's doing. And they just go, okay. That's what, yeah, yeah. that's what everybody goes, okay. And they don't see it. Like, this is some big conspiracy thing. It's not even that. It's like you just say, yes. You just walk and die. You'll die. These fucking x-ray machines. Do your x-ray machines cause cancer? You only get x-rayed when you're hurt. They need to see. And now, they need it, to see your bone. Yeah. The, other than that, what the fuck are you doing walking through an X-ray machine? If you fly a lot, it, it can't be good for you. Well, if I you don't think they're. Flying. Can you imagine? <laughs> I don't think I don't they're care X-rays how, though. I don't think not, they're actual X-rays. It's some new technology. I think it's some new some shit. New shit they got that uses something else. So but, that means we don't know what the new what shit that, causes. Right. Exactly. Right. Who could knows? They, could that. they see? Right. Something shoved up your ass, because that's what's next, is plastiques shoved up the ass with a vagina, blowing planes up midair. Mm. So that's why I want them to be able to see vagina in there. Vagina because... bombs. Once they it's vagina bombs. And you can't even and go with, with, with Arab anymore, because a fucking a, a Chechnyan is, looks white. So you get some, some fucking uh, extremist. I want everybody to have their fucking assholes photographed. I don't want but to fucking know, plummet 30,000 feet. Yeah, I don't well. either, and that's... I, it, but... It, how much explosives can you get? Can you put it in your asshole. You don't need much, probably, by the little thin skin of a plane. If you're in the bathroom behind the cockpit, just and put we, your and put we... your butthole right. In the <laughs> <laughs> why, like sir, why are you putting your asshole against the cockpit? <laughs> <laughs> against the door, trying to light a match. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, but that's the thing. I think I think the the fear is, you know, look, if you have an American ID, man, if you it does not, we don't train fucking suicide people. We mm-hmm. train homicide people. Right. We kill you and try to live, or we kill you and then off ourselves. Mm-hmm. But foreigners should get checked for that. I know that's still fucking with rights, but who the fuck? Yeah. You know, check me for weed. Check Norton for, for meth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check a Chinese guy for heroin. But yeah, yeah. You, you feel me? But like, check the Arabs hey, wait. for fucking I, bombs. Me and, Ed, me and Ed feel left out. You got you're, the you're pot. Me- you're, you, you guys are. I'm not meth. You're meth. If Jimmy's meth, I'm meth. And what's it? Oh, you're cocaine. Well, you're, he's well, cocaine. I'm cocaine. cocaine. You know I'll take what? cocaine. I'll, I'll give you Looks cocaine. Looks like a Wall Street guy. I, I never liked the cocaine. cocaine. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah. a fan of the cocaine. Crack? You want crack? Yeah, meth. <laughs> <laughs> crack, meth. <laughs> you gave him crack. Yeah. You want crack? I don't know. Crystal meth, crack, whatever. <laughs> the cheap shit that some, I could really... Some cracky crack. I could mule a bunch of it up my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just... It's like, look, I, I just you just see... That's I was just, hoping for the hash, by the way. I, I enjoyed the hash. You know what? Well, I, I liked the little hash. Like fucking Midnight Express? You're I mean, not coke. No, I hated Coke, actually. You'd be the tape. You'd be the hash like tape to your body. I like the hash. Hash tape to your body, guy. Yeah, what? that's you. Oh, that's so Fucking 75. I- idealistic. <laughs> <laughs> idealistic all-American, just going to make a few bucks on one run from Turkey, yeah, and he gets caught. You fucking look like you should be fucking selling liquor in Mexico. You, there's no way. You, you're not a clean-cut guy who not tapes. Not me. Him. Oh, oh, Opie, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Opie. No, I'm like... Opie's the one that thinks, oh, it's just one. I'm just going to do it once. I'll right. make a shitload of money. I, I'm way too uptight to, to be into Coke. Don't You didn't figure that one out. I need something to you chill. 
chilled me the fuck out. Could you sell house. it though? They look at you though. They nah, see blonde hair, good looking guy. Be could be a broker. I just want to mellow out. Just, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start smoking pot on vacation. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think this is the big turn. All right. I very rarely would encourage back to that. Pot. But I'm going back. <laughs> very rarely would encourage. <laughs> Normally, as a recovering <laughs> addict, I would not yeah. encourage marijuana use. However, uh, yeah, I would say. it's starting to make more and more sense to <laughs> smoke a little weed. To chill the fuck out, <laughs> and I and I and I, can't, I just hate. I, I like to be safe. I'm with you guys. I do, but it's yeah. just it's just. I'm kind of weird, Patrice. I get really annoyed. I un, I understand, you know, what we're trying to prevent, but it still just annoys the fuck out of you. Because the bottom level people aren't, and they love they, the power no they level, have. Yes, there's right, no yeah. top level plan mm -hmm. to the bottom level people. It's just and do I don't even, what you do fucking what you're told. told. Do your and job. I don't even have confidence in those people that they're actually able to stop this shit. Do you see the people that work at the airport? Do you I see don't the feel, TSA? I don't feel safer. It's, no, they're not. It's, I don't feel it's safer. It's precious. It's a precious movie. Right. Precious. <laughs> Throughout the entire, everybody's fat. Fucking and it is. Precious. I'm fat, and I'm telling you, I look to nap anytime I can. That's yeah, not yeah. appropriate, man. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate napping is what I'm looking to do. <laughs> I'd, I'd go as far to paint eyes on my eyelids, you know, just one of that, that old guy. Right. Just, just to fucking take a nap. And these people are just uh, angry, and they, they, they're they lazy. Are yeah. they really doing their jobs? I don't not, even know. They're not. I don't know. It, it's just a power trip. It's not like you, you're feeling. I don't feel safer. I just feel. Do you see when you, you send your shit through the x-ray machine, that person that's just looking at one thing after another all day long. Do you think they're being attentive to every fucking little thing inside every fucking bag that goes through? When you look at the TSA as much as... you, I think Patrice and I are in the same... And it's, I resent being told what to do by people I don't respect. Like, if they were all cops there and men who I thought were like fucking oh, yeah, border you, patrol... You would strip I would have down a little, to nothing More to respect them. for their authority right. and their ability to catch something. It's yeah. like the feeling you get when you go through customs. Like, that's kind of like, oh, fuck. The guys have guns. This is authority. I There's like some, your point, I've Jimmy. Some, I've met some customs guys. But, but no, but more... Jimmy's making a good point. If you but, yeah. if you feel like they have real authority, you don't mind as much. Right. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, you want you want our elite protecting right. that, but when that you, understand when, power. Then you'll do whatever yeah. the fuck they, they say. But, when that's the same chick that could be at fucking Popeye's behind the counter going, what? <sighs> Can I help you? And it's the same fucking you know woman. What? I wonder what the real drop-off is from being a TSA precious broad to Popeyes. Is it that close? You just don't. You, you don't get the you, TSA job. Next thing you know, you're fucking doing no criminal record, and that's doing it. some Popeyes. Yeah, yeah. Because there's no physical anything no, you got to no. do. A you part of it is it's a deterrent, though. Somebody. It's a deterrent. When's the last time? 9-11, they brought on stuff that was allowed. Mace was allowed at that time. So were box cutters. It's hysterical. Richard Reed was from a foreign flight. Uh, and back now there's shoe checking. When's the last time something devastating got through on a plane? It doesn't I'm not happen. Sure. Here's where I step it up. I'm not positively sure. Like the uh, the the last African kid that was supposed to blow up the plane in Detroit. Right. I'm not positively sure that happened. I I just believe. Real. To, yeah. I it, I'm I I believe that they can lie. They'll be just fed information. I you know these these weird movies and shit. And and you see them, and you just kind of, I just kind of believe that maybe some indescript human being was made up, and 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 they say he had an underwear bomb, underwear bomb, and it didn't go off, and now we're willing to just fuck. It just, all it but takes is the, the threat. People, but what about the people? All the people on the plane, on the plane the saw song. the smoke. I or, don't. I, who? I don't know. You guys I don't know me either. Listen, bro. that's what I'm saying. I don't. It's kind of hard it. to get a plane load of people. And why an African I, with an underwear bomb? They'd come up with something more devastating than an African with an underwear bomb. This is. A, it, it, look, you. You, it's, it, you will easily destroy what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying that it's. It's keep the fear going, and you'll keep people complying. Fear, 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 and we go. Okay, yes, just take. What you want? We Look have at, to. Yeah. The president, you know, this is a sad thing because this is why growing up in, in growing up black in in a in poor area and 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 education is not important. Well, tell me about it's it. made to be. Wait, what? It's made to be really. really it, mm -hmm. It's an, they call you white when you try to learn. Okay, but you now I'm I'm irrelevant age. I'm getting that age where no one gives a fuck, and uh, <laughs> and at, at, I realize look what the Constitution is right now. There's a point to separating Congress, the president, 
and 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 the the Supreme Court, mm-hmm. and so no one has one. Pro- it right now we and we are in a place where the Constitution was created to stop. Where if a motherfucker <laughs> yeah. they, they taking guns and a motherfucker and they controlling the news. These are the first two things: freedom of press and and the guns it's to protect ourselves from a tyrant in case in case. He's a traitor and becomes mm-hmm. a dictator. Now that the president can just declare war without Congress and without, it, we're, we're in the spot. This is that the place the fucking Constitution they didn't want us to be. Yes, in. man. Yeah. I mean, and, and to me, growing up, that was all white boy shit. The Constitution. <laughs> oh, white boy shit. White boy Freedom shit. of press. Suck a dick. You know, <laughs> crackers in the hills and shit. <laughs> Suck Niggas want their guns and their rifles. Fuck these crackers, old time Western motherfuckers. <laughs> but now you see, but you see it unfold. Bush did it, but now Obama's living under that thing, and now it's white people scared. And when they get another white boy in, it's like, whew. but now he's the next level. To oh, you think Obama was just a buffer between Bush uh, and the next level of it, white guy? To, that's he was gonna... there to make niggas complacent. Niggas is still. It's been it's been almost two years. Yeah. Niggas is still like, all right, look, he's only been in office three and a half years. Like they know we're going to be controlled by by race. Yeah. We get, we get controlled by that. It's a, it's we 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 don't want to agree with white people. You know what I mean? And it, it, but but as soon as he leaves, because he's done, he didn't realize oh, this he's, was. He's on vacation. He's just week. on vacation is, all the time now. He's looking at his thing. How many vacation days I got? Yeah, how, I'm gonna take yeah, it. How much longer? He took them. all his vacation days in. Because he's because he's fucking. He didn't realize this was gonna be what it was <laughs> when they told him he was gonna get the job. Well, yeah, who, yeah. Who does? Like you're it. But who what? does who does the bit where you become president and then they show you what's going on in the basement to you know get you in line? Oh yeah, I've heard that one. What bit? Who does it? Mm-hmm. They show one you of our guys. Five different angles Billy? of the Kennedy assassination. Is it Bill Burr? Might be Bill Burr. Probably Billy. I That'd think it was Billy. Billy. It's like yeah, they take it downstairs and so you get five crystal clear different uh, angles of the Kennedy that assassination. That no one else has ever seen. It's like ah uh, yeah. Here's how shit works. Yeah, we by got the some way. stuff to show you before you actually take. And office. you walk out of the room with a little more white in your hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet you Bill Burr does it as a bit and in serious discussion yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. One of those weird things. Of course. He either makes you laugh about it or he's crying alone about it. <laughs> Psychopath. Bill's hysterical. Now I kind of like shit. it though. It's, I love it. Seems like it might be sort of true. But I'm so you see this shit is because I, I I believe Obama really thought he could change the world. He hasn't really. Who the fuck teaches you oil spills in president class? No, <laughs> he's not ready for this shit. No, not at all. He's done. He's just going. And he's like, get me out of this, man. Yeah. He's get me impeach me. I don't give a fuck. You think every president sits there and goes, I would have been a great president if, if only blank didn't happen? Because they all have one. <laughs> they well, all have well, something. Not, they Reagan, all have one. Reagan had a perfect eight they didn't, years. He didn't have shit happening. The economy nothing. didn't fall apart. Or he, had things that, he had things that kind of worked it, out wait, well for uh, him. Seems like every president had something where if they didn't have that. people hated him. Not, not people who count. <laughs> didn't he have Pan Am? Lockerbie. 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 Yeah, Reagan. But, but he he made, that was a big one, but he, he answered But he made that. He handled it. He made shit work for him. Like, like no matter what happened, the shuttle Oh, the Iran-Contra shit. The Iran. Exploding the Iran Contra, but, he fucking, but by that point he was just like I don't. That was all of a noise. I problem. don't remember. <laughs> I know Jimmy, oh. Jimmy, Jimmy uh, uh, Carter. Carter. Oh. For some reason, I was too young, but for some reason, this country hates Jimmy Carter. Yeah, he stunk. He I don't know. I don't know he why. Just, he just anything. came across as kind of wimpy. People see him as also the, a lot of the time the source of our again the source of the troubles in the Middle East because he gave uh, he gave uh, he oh, took the Shah of Iran to the sanctuary Shah. to the Shah. And uh, when the Ayatollah, when they threw overthrew him, and they wanted him back badly in Iran. Yeah, they uh, were very, very angry with. By that the way, too. it was Bill Hicks. Of course, it was Bill oh, Hicks. Bill I should have known that. Fuck, dummy, I am. Jordan, thank you. Yeah, it's a Bill Hicks bit about showing the president with yeah. you know the basement or something like that. We got that clip. Maybe we could play that know. into break for everybody today. Yeah, I think right. I think um, I think he's you know he's done. And I think he's just going. He's going to coast through. He's and, going to ride and, now. Because who would take this many vacations? I think they, he knows also they're going to lose the majority in November, so he's not going to be able to really have that pull so of getting everything through that he wants. He can't even do it now. Yeah. Even yeah. with the majority, people because too many them, Democrats man. are scared shit of losing their jobs now. Yeah. People they're sitting. Them, there. They're all backpedaling now. All these Democrats are like. Fuck the mask. And this. Yeah. And fuck this the mask. Ugly Supreme Court that he's. <laughs> this, <laughs> this ugly, ugly, what is going? What the <laughs> fuck is he? 
putting up 12 Janet Reno's <laughs> to <laughs> fucking... <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with him? It's but this is how many good-looking ones are there to choose from, though, when you but think about good it? God! How many good-looking girls go into I, that line? I think it's smart. Yeah. You don't want them distracted by sex. <laughs> They're not thinking but sex. They're not having sex. Can I get a fucking a white-bearded dude? For, like, just <laughs> give me somebody. Like a Give me a dude. <laughs> These ugly women he's putting in. Uh, yeah, they are homely. <laughs> the one that runs the um security now, the uh, big sis? Homeland Just Security. So weird. Look yeah. at that. What the fuck is going on? Is that Janet uh, Napolitano? Oh, my God. And I mean, yeah, forgive she's... me, ladies. I don't want to fucking be I... destroyed. But, I mean, good Lord. I want ugly people in government. Because, <laughs> you know, they're not out there trying to get anything. They know where their where their place is. <laughs> it's bad. I mean, uh, and, a... and then as soon as it's Joe Osteen becomes a president in, like, 2016, oh, it's you're, all over. You're on that bandwagon? Dude. No Dude, fucking that way. fucking creepy I know white boy is, is is galvanizing. He fills up the old basketball arena. I know every Sunday with his ho with his fucking. Shit. I don't want to say horse shit. You know this guy. He looks plastic almost. He Joe almost looks Osteen. like he was created in a fucking lab. He's the white Obama. You know him. The white Obama. Young, younger oh. guy looks like he has almost like Botox face and the Christian it right doesn't have a lot of expressions that oh, you boy. you, you can relate Joe to. Osteen? Can you put up Joel Olsen? Put, put up his He his fills picture. up Patrice a basketball arena. Patrice is convinced that this arena. guy is going to be the next yeah. president. A basketball arena every day. Yeah, he'd like to... Not every little, day, every Sunday or whatever. You know, he, he rents out the Astrodome because he's, he's a preacher. He's one of those he's guys. A, preacher. This guy, a lot of preachers you know, fill up arenas, though. You know, yeah. this guy. Fair enough. Nobody would this, vote for him. This kid is... Nah, uh, far, far no, right, extreme religious. These assholes. People are going to be a little Joel leery Joel Osteen is a fucking next president. Joel Osteen can kiss my balls. No one's voting for him or his dumb hair. That cocksucker, man. You know that guy. Yeah, man. It, what do you, where, where are you at with the mosque? What the fuck would they do that for? What the fuck That's... is the argument? Are you serious? Your people. This is what I'm... We can't even come together as a country on this. Be honest it's... about racism. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't mind your people working where anywhere. But you can't work... Your people can't work... Exactly where, <laughs> yeah. like, we, there has to be some some type of uh, 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 rights violated a little bit when it comes to the fact that your people are most likely. So, airport security, fucks no. McDonald's on the on the outskirts of the gates, yeah, duty yeah. free, yeah. <laughs> but fucking right there, the mosque where where that whole situation is. Mosky, yeah, <laughs> mosky. It's a bit mosky over but, there. But 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 yep. even at, 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 even if you're, you know it. if you're a nine eleven uh a t a conspiracy person, you know what I mean. I am, but still at the same time, what it seems to be is that they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Why why do that? Why not put it? Uh, why not put it on Bleecker Street? Why put it yeah. there at for what? Too close. And here's the big problem with Muslims. Uh uh, from not not Nation of Islam, but fucking uh, middle east yeah. they have not joined us yet they are very fucking separate motherfuckers yeah i have not yet seen one or met one that 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 goes yeah that's fucked up what they did it's always you must understand when people aren't hearing you you must do things to. <laughs> they never go. That's some fucked up shit yeah, to blow was, up planes. That was really fucked it's up. It's always sympathetic. Ask him. You know, your son, the lady, the mother of the dude that was accused uh, that they just caught that was supposed to um, the Times Square bomber, the Times Square yeah. guy. You know, I don't know, but my son would never do that. And but 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 man, what do you think about blowing up? People go to desperate measure. <laughs> How about when you just they, say? When, when they, they agree mm -hmm. with that shit. Now, yep. Asians, if, if, if 20 Asians blow up some shit, the reason we wouldn't look at all Asians and Chinatown wouldn't be shut down, because <laughs> Asians have proven to this country that they get fucked and they love it. <laughs> i seen this thing about J J Japan when they fucking round up the, the, oh, the Japanese Americans up. and they were speaking perfect English. Because they were here four years building train tracks. <laughs> and they're just like, hey, man, I'm, I'm not, I don't give a fuck about Japan. I don't eat sushi. Yeah, get in the get camp. Get in this fucking concentration camp. We're just not killing you, but you're in a concentration camp. And, and what it is is, is, is is Arabs have not gone through that. They still seem like enemies. Mm -hmm. Niggas, if niggas blew up, they, look, 
as much as we do, or as much as we uh, get f fucked up for, if we did some, sh if a group of us did some really fucked up shit, uh, we'll all look like nigga. I I dare you to come fuck with me like I'm. <laughs> nigga, as much as I put in on this country, as much money as as, as Asians spend gambling. You feel me? If I see some Arabs gambling, they getting ready to blow some shit up because they're doing their, their last yeah, party yeah, shit. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they haven't went through it. They're not sympathetic. Mm -hmm. They don't. They, I've never talked to an Arab cab driver. All I do, if I get in the cab, I talk to these Arabs. And one dude, I'm going to tell you how comfortable they are. This nigga played the Ali Maya Maya the whole ride to the motherfucking airport. And it wasn't the music. It was... Just the it was call prayer. to prayer shit. And I'm like, Turn do you that know how shit off, motherfucker. I, am, motherfucker. I don't want to hear this was, shit. Was yeah. that on the radio? No, it was his shit. All right, sometimes it's on the radio. You wonder where where that shit man, is. Man, I, man, I don't, and look, <clears throat> again, Muslims listening, I'm not <clears throat> disrespecting this shit like that. But I'm telling you, you haven't been through, the nation of Islam been through some shit. The motherfuckers from Malcolm X, they yeah, yeah. because they've been through it. They niggas. <laughs> but they Muslim. I'm talking Arab Muslims, man, got yeah, yeah. some nerve uh, fucking, uh, you know, taking advantage. Did, uh, uh, the United States <clears throat> did put itself in positions to always. get... Always. That's what that imam said, that wants to fucking run this always goddamn Always a mosque. fucking, always an asterisk as to how our U.S. foreign policy brought it on us. Like, not yeah. one time did they say, you're right, they don't say it's fucked up. That's that's why Just they're not popular here. There's no there's no good look at every group has the good ones that apologize for the bad ones. Yeah, yeah. I have yet to see a group of Arabs say you guys are shitty. Yeah. Mm. We are a peaceful people and it is a peaceful religion and a few bad people have made it bad for everybody. So what you're saying is that the uh, <coughs> terrorism uh, there's no place for it. Well, there are some people. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! We are trying to. <laughs> let me let me let me grab it right here because uh, we had some uh, protesting going on yesterday, I believe. Mosque yeah. supporters gathered to stop <clears throat> Islam. Uh, uh, well, check out this. One hundred supporters were there for the mosque. And Five hundred were against. against. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, in America, that's good enough, right? But yeah, I guess good, not. Good odds. Five to one. <laughs> I guess Five to one. <laughs> but I guess not. We say no to racist fear. Muslims are welcome here. A group calling itself a coalition to stop Islamophobia gathered in the driving rain two blocks north of the proposed mosque near Ground Zero. Can you pause that for one second? You see the problem? The term Islamophobia yeah. implies that it's this irrational fear. Yes. It's not. It's it's a conscious Rejection. I have blow up a phobia. And it's That's not. What I, <laughs> yeah, I'm it's afraid not of being blown Islam up. Let's get a group together. Phobia. It's Arab phobia. Arab phobia. Then it's not all Muslims. <sighs> There's all kind of Chinese Muslims. There's, Muslims are you. The Chechnyans are rough. Oh, Those yeah, guys are yeah. rough. Muslims. <laughs> but they're Muslims. Everywhere. Chechnyans are Muslim. Everywhere. I know. Yeah, they're fucking. And, they're, and they're crazy. They'll blow up. They blew up that fucking schoolhouse with children in it. Yeah, and they're shit. fucking. They're, they're motherfuckers, man. Big uncomfortable beard. You yeah, fucking yeah. women always dress hot. No <laughs> fucking take that hot shit off. Miserable <laughs> motherfuckers. Miserable women. Miserable dudes. Just yeah, yeah. stinky and mad. <laughs> no one in this country is stinky and mad. If you're stinky and mad, you're anti-American. You're crazy if homeless you guy. If you fucking stink, God, you're anti-American. That's a hell of a way to go through life, what you just described. Angry stinky women. Stinky and mad. Won't right. speak to you. Angry, mean, fucking dudes are angry and their kids are dressed poorly. You don't think they're fun what people? What the fuck are they here for? <laughs> you don't think they're fun people to, like, interact with? And then look at me like I'm a nigger. You're a nigger. I'm above you. Barely, though, right? Uh, not barely, nigger. Uh, I'm joking. We I'm, are I'm lieutenants to white people, uh, nigger. Yeah. And we, we want the I'm crown. Fucking with you. I'm we need to do with more fucking. Like leaps and bounds. <laughs> Here, leaps and bounds. Here's the rest of the clip. You're out. The Constitution says everyone has... Freedom of religion. God, Shut we up. No understand one that, that part of the no argument. How many that. times does everybody have to say that? Isn't that talking about insensitivity here, you fucking dummy? Of course, they have a right of everyone constitutional knows right. That. The fact that they want to do it, the fact that they want to do it, and they don't like understand how shit. When, when, they, when all these people come out going, we find that horribly offensive. 
The fact that they wouldn't go, you know what, let's try to work something out and, here because we want to be reasonable. And no one's saying they can't do it, you idiot. We're basically <clears throat> saying, could you please maybe move it somewhere else? That's They're the argument. Unreasonable. Right. They don't want to be reasonable. We, and uh, no, no one is like saying the thing is going to be built it's a following victory. the Constitution. We exactly. get that point. It is a victory for them, like they're erecting a fucking castle on a, a battleground where they won the battle. And they hate That's the That's what they're towers. doing. Exactly. That's what they're and doing. And they're going to be making... There's gonna, and look, and here, here's something else that's going to... People are crazy, man. It's going to put your oh, people the, yeah, yeah. in bad trouble. People are going to come down there. You don't think there's going to be defacing come and on, man. at least Why deface the place? Yeah, do that? Who's going to build it? It's and then be... the guys that decide to build it, they're going to have problems with other people that don't want them building it. Dude, who the it's, it's, do this? Maybe this weld isn't uh, as good as it should be. How about some of that oh, shit when even, they build it? I didn't it? even. Yeah. Some of the workers, shit. it's like some big iron fucking beam. Uh, maybe uh, this weld is a little cold. The fucking <laughs> altar candles. Just, everything's uh, made out of fucking some kind of weird. <laughs> they put asbestos. Oh, hey, we didn't get them cold. Uh, uh, no asbestos. Uh, I, heard, uh, I have the mesothelioma. Uh, <laughs> I have to call Binder and Binder. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a Muslim. Who has a bad cough after experiencing moss dust? Call moss dust. Call moss. <laughs> fucking what's his name? Vaughn. Bin. What's the guy's name? He got name Vaughn from Oh uh, yeah, or uh, Konisberg, that other guy. Uh, <laughs> fucking uh, asbestos specialist. Uh, yeah. the, the moss just hired Freinberg and Freinberg. Hey, yeah. What? what? <laughs> A quote in the constant. We got that. Have you been the reading argument. in the mosque? Blocks north of the proposed mosque near Ground Zero. The Constitution says everyone uh, has we know. freedom of religion. We know. It doesn't matter if it's two blocks from no, the building that was there or if it's on top of it. No, they not that was right there. That was knocked down mm -hmm. yes. by people representing that right. religion. You fucking stop trying to tell it like like it, it, it's it's this irrational reaction by Americans. It's <clears> yeah. not. I mean, I've never heard Americans complain about a mosque going up. We have never given a shit before. Right. How many mosques you build? Where you put them, how tall they are, Except I don't know, now. or give a fuck where they are. This, I never thought about it. Not, this seems to be the first Islam. one that we care about a little no. bit. We've never cared. No, right, Islam. that's a very good point. It's not Islam. If, yeah. if, if fucking the nation Islam, if, if Farrakhan and them want to build a, what they thought was a Farrakhan mosque close, yeah. no one be, they, they'd be right. like, eh, because he's, it's not Islam, it's Arabs. It's big bearded imams. Imam. It's big bearded. It's if you're an hot imam that has been breathing in asbestos, coming, coming up their face. Mm. It's, it's it's it. Come on, man. Levy Phillips and Connersburg <laughs> treated me like a real person during my hardest time. <laughs> <laughs> I love. That. How come they won't just, just understand that a little bit? Everywhere, because they're not reasonable. <laughs> they do understand. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't care. Why do that? Why do that? Do I have this well, smelly fucking no shoed motherfucking? And white women Ugh. are always ready to fucking good lord defend. Yeah, just defend them. They don't understand. It's a free mm. Shut yeah. up. They don't understand how far it would go with Americans if they said we didn't. We weren't thinking that this would be so offensive, but it is. We want to. We want. We don't want Islam to be offensive. If they volunteered to move it because they they realized how offensive it was, they don't. Re People would go, oh wow. That would be more bridging. They have a, a no gap. idea how to interact with Americans. They, they're force feeding this shit down our throat. <laughs> I know. Not it's that a we whole would... yeah mosque center. Yeah, it's, we would never force feed something like democracy on a nation. <laughs> in this country, dude, back when, when uh, you know, when Saddam was running, running shit and all that, way, it, mm -hmm. they don't pull that shit. It's like that, like I said in, in the movies, when the dude gives you the speech, the um, the bad guy uh, gives the good guy that. A b -b speech that speech like you Americans you let us do what we want we do what we and, want you know, and we, we yeah. you have your rules you must adhere to yeah mm -hmm. like that's what this is it's like not today and I'm not even it's not it's just <laughs> why do that yeah what the fuck why do that to, it's, to prove it's a, it's a point proven look at Time Magazine is America Islamophobic Ugh. it says Jesus. it right on the cover of Time Magazine this Islamophobic Phobic. Yep. How about is Islam unreasonable? <laughs> is it, How yeah, about yeah. are Muslims unreasonable? Yeah. Why won't Time Magazine ask that question? All right. Here's the rest of the. Why am I yelling? Is there, or if it's on top of it? They have a right to build what they want, and there are already many mosques and Islamic cultural centers in New York. If you say that 
these people, by virtue of the religion that they practice, don't have that basic First Amendment right, then who's next? Reverend no one is saying... Whatever. I'm Who's making a next. And why are they only interviewing those people? Oh, look at this greasy fucking disaster. Jesus. Oh, he's, he's angry and the smelly. The were harsh, the mood heated, and there were some <clears throat> minor scuffles. But police maintained order, separating supporters and opponents around the corner from the proposed project. We say no to racist fear. Muslims are welcome here. The wild oh, display out on the street. Daisy Khan, one of the most main organizers and it's wife of the hate, leading though. developer, spoke out on ABC's This Week. We are uh, deeply concerned. Uh, because this is like a metastasized Daisy anti-Semitism. Khan said it's yeah. important to go Con! forward with the project, but did open the door to the possibility <laughs> of, of moving it further from ground zero, course, but ahead. saying its backers are open to meeting with the local community board again. Really the controversy has former mayor Ed Koch and, uh, talking. He wants to see so tolerance so on both sides. You have a right to have the mosque under our constitution. We know that. We know you that. also, from a personal point, <laughs> of you ought to consider the uh, rights and sensitivities Please. of that's those who died that's, that's, and the that's families the whole issue right of there. those who died. That's exactly what I, I, I had predicted that they will, they will not put it there. Yeah, I don't think so. Too many yeah. Democrats who are typically very... When Howard Dean comes out and Harry Reid come out, when you are losing people that far on the left... They know, though, their jobs are in jeopardy in November. It doesn't matter why. I think that the, yeah. the whole country is so against it. The pressure will eventually mm, get them to move. Yeah, I think they will saying, move. The developer's saying, no fucking way it is going there. We, they don't care what you say. I think the developer has a great that, interest the, in the, saying the, that. The, the Jewish guy? Oh, is he the owner? Is the he guy that Jew owned oh, the, the Russia guy? I don't know. Is he a Jewish guy? Well, he's the Jewish guy owns all that. Well, he, he owned all that shit. Know, Here's the rest of our clips. And who's next? Reverend Engel praised the mosque's imam, Faisal Abdul Rauf, as being a man who wants to promote healing. Oh, really? How do you heal from away from where the wound is? And the wound is here. And yeah, so they caused I it! Think anybody can bring oh, that my God. This country is you know, insane. I, I, insane. I just hate the fact. <clears throat> Please insane. put all these motherfuckers in a time machine and send them down there on September 11, 2001, so they could just fucking see this shit. You know, that's a very, very valid thing to do with it, the time yes. machine. What I would do is just go ahead a couple days and see the Powerball numbers. You would actually have a real thing to do with your time machine <laughs> I, I would to send help these... people learn and be strong and, and make steadfast. Them remember what it fucking felt like to see those towers fucking yeah. get exploding. I mean, stop it. Of course, I would, like, go back and actually stop it from happening. Exactly. You know what's <laughs> fucking hilarious? That, Norton's time machine use is much better. Yes, what the, the fuck would you do besides go, someone's going to hijack planes and fly them into the building? And then he's going to be bullshit. And then he's going to get arrested and still be in jail up to this day. Yeah, yeah. He knew beforehand. Of course he knew. No, but nobody no, would do anything. Time machine. Nobody would do anything because as unreasonable and idiotic as people are now, they were the same way in, in September 10, 2001. They wouldn't have believed you. Hey, can't judge a, a book by its... Uh, no, oh, they wouldn't. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> God, how frustrating would that be? Oh, fucking... That you couldn't do anything. Guys are walking out with ticking hats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you feel about people jumping out of buildings and on fire trying to save them? Yeah, yeah. When people this is are good to uh, the, 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 the make you do things, the, the, what is it? there is a prince, a basic principle of the people's rights yes. to do. Why well, shut up? The, Flaming people on fire, falling. Shut up. There's a basic rights for people that our own countries do not respect so we come here and shove it into your yeah. stupid faces <laughs> exactly if what? i steal a cut if i steal some candles from the guy they cut my hand my off hand. and shove my hand on my ass <laughs> but then if i cheat on my husband they bury me up to my neck and hit me in the head with rocks. With rocks until I am dead. I love I love my land. There is in and Saudi then they Arabia. They sent all the fucking money back home. Yeah. To fucking rockhead land. What the rockhead. It's rockhead. fucking simple. In Saudi Arabia now, they're uh, they're I guess Amnesty International is trying to intervene in this case where a Good guy luck. a couple of years ago um, uh, hit a man with a shovel during a fight and paralyzed him. So now they are going to surgically paralyze this man do you know what uh, uh and and just paralyze him exactly like the other guy is paralyzed uh so they're trying to 
Amnesty International is trying to step in and go, Fuck this them. is torture. Fuck Amnesty International with that one. You they like should, that? Absolutely. Jesus. Because that's... It's kind of brutal, I don't, dude. With, not with adultery. I kind of like but it. You, you, you should like be able it, to so. make it reversible. At least sentence him <laughs> to maybe 20 years paralysis. <laughs> 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 it's like the thought of that. Not years the of right. paralysis. Just, but then you're gonna uh, you're gonna need some time to get those muscles working yeah, again after could, 20 years. Up could be a little, just my, a little just, bit. Just take my hip my hip plug. My hip cord, and just put, and depending it, and put on it in the refrigerator, and then put it back, maybe to, like in twenty years. And, and it's all dependent uh, uh, on, on the crime, obviously. <laughs> like they paralyze just your pinky for you some way. Yeah, shit. Just, <laughs> maybe they take your arm, paralyze like, that for a few yeah, years, like fifteen years paralysis. Like Man, there'd be a lot less crime, I think, in America. Well, is, uh, Amnesty International should oh, worry about great. people being stoned for adultery and not a guy who actually brutalized somebody with a shovel. Fucking up. What do you think you do your last night out before that operation? You probably don't even get laid. You probably just wiggle your toes and fingers. <laughs> oh, what are you shit. doing? I'm not oh. going in tomorrow. It's yeah, going Dance in to be paralyzed. <laughs> oh, yep. you fuck everything. Just doing some jumping jacks. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's pretty brutal, man. You eat that with is two brutal. spoons, and you just like, <laughs> but, uh, and your feet with your feet too. Oh, you shit as playing much the as piano you can. with your feet while you're eating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just trying shit. You uh, beat your wife one more time. <laughs> you commit one more honor killing. Uh, you hit one more man with a shovel in the head because he fucking had something in his eye, and you thought he was winking at you your know, wife. You, you fucking might as well paralyze another motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Look at they do. I won't just paralyze half my body. Just, Holy shit! And I just have to walk in a circle for the rest. <laughs> I just like, I just like that it's temporary though. That's the, that's all, that's funny, man. I don't get how people like it, it, if it was fresh after nine eleven, and the the rubble was still smoking down there. Do you honestly think this would be an issue? No. A, a mosque no. being no. built oh, next. Christ. Do you think you wouldn't be able to? A one hundred percent of the public and politicians would come out and go. There is no way. We are allowing this to, to go up. Americans are idiots, though, man. Violence. And I'm a conspiracy guy. Well, we're idiots after a little time goes I, by. I'm a conspiracy dude, so I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm believing in all that other shit, but it's the sensitivity part. It's just the part. Yeah. It's like, why, dude? Don't do right. that. Don't, just don't, don't, don't put it there. That's what that's, I, that's, slapping that's, the I'm having a tough time face. with that as well. Just don't put it there. I understand the slapping constitution. The yeah, I understand we get it. That. Nobody's like, and, and, well, you know, don't do you'll it. be able to build it there if that's what you're choosing in the end, unfortunately. Oh, can you put that back up? I'm just stupefied today. You know that Bill Hicks clip about the basement? Yeah. So we want to play it into break, right? Yeah. So they don't have it in the system. So Steve goes, I'll get it down the hall. Yes. So it's it's an obvious bit from Bill Hicks where they, they bring the president down to the basement to show some real shit to mm -hmm. get him in line, right? Read what fucking just came in. Uh, he's not sure if he has the right clip now. Now. Well, what clip does he have? How, how are you not sure? I'm not sure. <clears throat> he actually got a Bill Hicks clip, and now he's not sure if it's the right clip. I gotta hear which one he's got. Really? Hopefully yeah. it's just something that has how, how, nothing to do with what we're talking But it's black and about. white, isn't it? I you either got the so. clip or not. How are you not know, sure? I want to know the one he's got. <laughs> how are you not sure? He probably wasn't listening to the show, so he's now confused. Do we know what old, clip he's got? An old red fox clip he's got. <laughs> yeah. It's like completely wrong. Her breath smells exactly like her ass. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, he's, now he's throwing uh, sex bagel under a truck uh, trying to say that Eric sent him the, uh, Eric? the wrong thing. Yeah, because I was looking up. Hold on, you guys. This is getting oh, yeah. good now. E-Rock. I was looking up the bit here, and I can't listen to anything um, online with this computer here. So I found the text of what the bit is. I said, Steve, here's the text. Sent it to him. He said, and this one <laughs> website has a video clip. It's from an HBO special. If it's in there, get it. And that's where I left it. And I kept asking him, did you find it yet? Did you find it yet? And he says, I don't think this is the right clip. So I said, can you find the bit? Here's the exact text. Please how, find the bit. How do you know? How do you? How about going to iTunes and just buying it? <laughs> how about that? Then you got it on Doesn't YouTube, it maybe? I could try to find it. Forget it. 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 Uh, whatever. Yes. It's, it's just the point I that... Don't, I don't... I'm not sure. I have a clip of Bill Engvall. <laughs> <laughs> the key to that statement is not sure. Hey, don't don't pop this up just yet. Let me hear it. All right. Bill Hicks on Obama. What? Is this still Probably alive? about another president and they're just saying it. it's like Obama. Yeah. 
Uh, Bill Hicks on presidential agendas. You know what? That's good enough, Danny. Seriously. I think that I, it might well, be. Let's just go to break. Quick, quick. Bill Hicks is great. It doesn't matter what clip we play, to be honest with you. More with uh, Patrice O'Neill, who's going to be at the DC Improv this weekend. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday, Saturday, one show Sunday. DCimprov.com. Yeah. How great was that Bill uh, Hicks clip going in a break, yeah, huh? Funny. Hmm. That's funny. And that goes back. Is it's it like point, 15 years ago, is something it point like that? Is it point I think it is. The Illuminati. I think yeah. it is. Patrice O'Neill, thanks for uh, coming in today. Thanks for having me. I didn't really add to the uh, show. You guys want to have sure. a little fun? A little fun? Uh, Got what? A fat broad. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. I'm just the, stretching. The Monday aches. I know. <laughs> stretching. Fucking. We do get the Monday aches uh, now. You guys got to start doing the <laughs> Tuesdays, so right, man. man. just sucks Long sitting weekend, here. It's Tuesday. like stretch. Monday aches. It's like stretch my <laughs> fucking legs every so often. Uh, we got good. we got a fat broad that's a little pissed off. We like the fat broad What's pissed off problem? story. This is a weird one. Listen to this. I was humiliated. I almost cried. I had. A it's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> 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 got a little Eddie Murphy happening. Here. I was humiliated. I almost cried. I had a turn. <laughs> you hear it, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. You hear it. <laughs> Oh, Hercules! <laughs> Hercules, right? Hercules! Hercules! Hercules. That's Hercules. Right. I was humiliated. I almost cried. I had I turned my face to just, you know, because tears were forming in my eyes. All right, what's why? Why? Why is she in tears? Uh, out of uh, chicken at Popeyes. Do you know the story? You don't know no? the story. You want to guess? Anyone want to guess? Uh, why is this fat broad in tears? Helpful. Uh, something to do with a seat on a plane. Mm. Um, oh, 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 they want the charger twice. Way off. Exotic. Let's think of something exotic. Uh, Someone this, almost. This one's, I, I'll help you out. It's ridiculous. To save this her life, somebody one. wouldn't give her the amount of food that she actually ordered. And they said no. <laughs> and she ordered two burgers and they said, I will not contribute to your death. Almost like a liquor. Yeah, I will not hand you this gun. I will not do this to you. Uh, stuck on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. No, huh? His tears were forming in my eyes. Michelle Fonville says her experience at Natural Nails in DeKalb County on Monday turned... <laughs> All right. Natural, natural nails. nails. Uh, too fat to put her feet in that disgusting fucking pedicure bath. County on Monday turned from pleasant to painful in a matter of moments. She says things went downhill after she'd gotten her manicure, pedicure, and eyebrow arch, and the manager gave her a smile because she knows that it's me they've been coming to see. Well, to forget about dieting for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what could have happened to a fat girl with a nail salon? Can I, uh, can I write down something? Patrice, I apologize all uh, the time. Uh, we're getting some uh, suggestions here. What they, the fuck are you they tried to about? they try to put pig hooves on her oh. instead of nails. <laughs> oh fuck! What could those <laughs> rotten Asian women? Do oh, what her? did those nasty Asians do to her? <laughs> oh, um. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't know how to fucking write this. Basically. <laughs> Holy shit, Frunkus. Jesus, these people are out of their minds. This is for Anthony. Can't say that. Oh, <laughs> God damn that. Oh, yeah. uh, that's all, all like you, I said, all you I can say for that one time. is <laughs> just say four for the price of two. <laughs> Instead of... Was that? I don't know. Are you taking a guess? Instead of a, instead of a manicure and a pedicure, it might have oh, been. Oh, Jesus. That is so bad. Two of one. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Per the bill, she realized she'd been overcharged by five dollars. Has that been over? This is over five dollars. Five bucks. They're building a mosque, you stupid bitch. <laughs> she'd been overcharged by five dollars. Has that been overcharged? I said she may have made an error. She broke it down. Then she told me she charged me five dollars more because I was overweight. I said, ma'am, you can't charge me $5. I said, that's discrimination. You can't discriminate against me because of my weight. Okay, then because you're brack. <laughs> How do they charge? You know what? No, but why? She actually has a point. Why would some fucking yeah. Asians charge you $5 more because you're fat? Sure, you're visually unpleasant. 
Uh, Maybe they're charging it. you for the lunch they vomited well, they, <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> disgusting they, big foot. They scrub down your feet and shit, so what? Her feet are chair stunk. <laughs> <laughs> fat girl <laughs> ass. I just wiped the chair, a little sweaty uh, line. Got a little Febreze on there. Hey, oh, fat girl's butt Five dollars for line. overweight. What's, uh, that is confusing. <laughs> that, that's not discrimination. That's not... Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. That's not yeah. declimination. Declimination. <laughs> that's a hard word. One of my favorite bits. Declimination. You want to explain Asians to everybody? I just don't These want fuckers. Anymore. They're These just fuckers. The worst. will give you nothing. They the worst. <laughs> not nothing. That's not declimination. <laughs> and they know nothing about about loyalty. <laughs> this fat woman has been coming there oh, for yeah, years. Yeah. Probably they years. Don't know. Then she'll never come back again. And and then she'll tell everybody and these retarded <laughs> decrimination. Decriminate not decrimination. You, That's the woman right there, huh? Well you give me a fucking free dessert. I've been coming here for a decade, you right. Disloyal why, fucks. Why, why, why is big forum? Why is this mess getting a pedicure and a why? fucking manicure I know. anyway? Just why? Just why doesn't not? matter. How about she, a stomach stapling? Oh, yeah, no one's just, gonna notice. I'm gonna tell you the color don't red. Don't your horn if you drive a shitty car. The color red should hire a great lawyer and sue to get his good name back. <laughs> <laughs> Between gang members and fat bitches, it's just they love red. The color red is just being treated like shit. <laughs> Well, let's listen to this Asian oh, big broad. Big face. Yeah, let's hear it. I want to hear how the Asian broad figured out she can make an extra five bucks. Jesus, what a enough already. Cunt. <laughs> right, enough. She lost a client for <laughs> five dollars. Five bucks. They don't understand. What a clunt. No. <laughs> <laughs> what a crunt. Did he go clunt or crunt? <laughs> let's go uh, clunt. Uh, <laughs> you I like clunt. A, what a clunt. <laughs> right, I like clunt. <laughs> You're a clunt. A crunt. <laughs> All right, I gotta hear. I gotta that, hear. That's not discrimination. That's oh. not uh, about discrimination. Oh. Really? And if we said clean a nation, we'd be fired. That's not about discrimination. If we were on regular radio and said it's not about declination or the whatever, we'd be fired. Cleaning. What the for fuck? Imitating this. These not these inhuman is so <laughs> they really lack are. of fucking you'll be Emotions. dead right in front of them. they have nothing to give well let's see why they charge chair breaker a little more money let's see <laughs> let's see what fatso did first of all <laughs> don't let fatso off the hook yet let's see what she did that, that's not discrimination. That's not uh, about discrimination. The manager tells me it's about the salon chairs that cannot hold more than 200 pounds, or it could lead to costly repairs. Uh. $2,500. You think that's not is that fair? When we take $24 and we have to pay for $2,500, is that fair? No. The manager did refund Pond Bill the $5 overcharge and told her to take her business elsewhere. I say, Michelle, sorry, next time I cannot uh, take you. It was a matter of fact, you know, attitude. And I just couldn't believe another human being was talking to another human in that man. Well, the word has to get out there. These people are discriminating against us because of our weight. I mean, come on. We're in America. You can't do that. Well, you can. Well, I have no sympathy for either one of them. Exactly. The climination makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to be fair. This fat bitch could have broke her $2,500 salon chair. Yeah. Because I've priced them. Barber chairs cost fucking $3,500. <laughs> you fat bitch. When they click, when they click you up and down in that barber chair, you know every click. You, she only, she only charged you a five dollar. Could have broke my chair fee. Yeah. You know what? Shut the fuck up. She's collecting a lot of five dollars. Shut the five dollar. You up. could break my chair yeah, fees. I hate though. both of these motherfuckers. Yeah, they're both fucking despicable. Oh, that's a manipulation. Oh. It's not discrimination. That twenty-five five hundred dollar. And but you can't. Why can't you? Here's what they, they're so ready to fucking be at war, these third world people. Yeah. That they, they don't know how to go look. Um, this is going to suck, what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah. Please. You, you can't. It's, you're too can much I, can weight. I, can I too take it? much yeah. weight. Like, come, come back here. Come back here a minute. I have to tell you yeah. something. Yes. In common, not in front of everybody. You're too fat. <laughs> You're too fat. No discrimination. Five dollar for break a seat. Declination. Oh, Did but you know what though? Even if she was nice, you know that woman would have won. Ah, yeah, yeah. she's Ooh. gone. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> then again, the Asians have something. Oh, she would have had to fucking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she would have. They would have started to sample to some music, and oh. then she just would have went <laughs> off on this bitch. Patrice, can you humor me about your Asian joint again? The, the, I love it them. every fucking Listen, time. All of them. You go there. All, year after year, three, them. four days a week. I went to my favorite <laughs> they, Chinese restaurant last yesterday. 
And they, they just treat me like the senior for the first as time. As if I've never <laughs> been there. Why? It was. I figured I, I had this. earned like some VIP treatment. I went there yeah. for lunch, which I usually don't go. Yeah. One and that motherfucker <laughs> said, "Wait." I said, "Nigga." I'm the only motherfucker in here when it's empty, you cocksucker. I be thinking I'm the only one keeping it open. The, and they fucking treat me like dog shit. I'm here on a Tuesday afternoon, on you a Tuesday, motherfucker. And this, I said, can, I know I should be able to squeeze by these white people coming from work. He told me to eat their ass. They love white people, too. And, and, and they love, uh. they truly love white people. There's, there's nothing I could ever do that's going to up me. But the fucking dry cleaner guy, he's starting to learn, though, because mm. I stopped talking to him. And he, uh, and, and he goes, hey, hello, O'Neal. He won't call me. He, hello, O'Neal. Hello, O'Neal. Hi. Here's what he extends me now. I'll tell you what he does now. Mm. I just drop my clothes off. And this is why I won't leave him, though. Mm. No one does a better job than Chinese people at what they do. Mm -hmm. that they're just enormously talented at fucking doing what they do. They're machines. Yeah. Increases shit. Absolutely. There was a Russian lady I took my shit to. She talked a lot, and there were stains on my clothes. Period. This guy, won't. he won't give me a free... He won't not... If the bill <laughs> is thirty nine nineteen, this motherfucker... What's the 19? 19 cents. I told you about my fucking guy that comes and cleans my fish tank. Oh, yeah. I love him. This motherfucker goes like this, okay? He bought me something, to, a little $4 temperature uh, thermometer for Right, tank. right, yeah. This motherfucker goes, well, um, uh, uh, you know, um, it, it costs $4, but, you know, I get this nigga $300 a month to clean my fucking yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. It, it costs a lot of money to keep these fucking fish alive. So he's like, well, and uh, I, I, for, I didn't charge you $4. I forgot to charge Yeah, they to got pointed out but, on, on you top know, of it. You, right. You, <laughs> so I said, "You fucking asshole." So I said, "I said, sweetie, I told my girl, go go upstairs and look in that drawer. Give me, give me sixteen quarters." Oh shit! Right? Sixteen. She brought him down. She put. I, he cupped his hand. <laughs> oh wow! He cupped his hand instead of going. Don't worry about and it. And took right. sixteen quarters. Dirty, greasy quarters. Without even he took all the. It was beyond sarcasm. At that, it wasn't sarcasm. Right. It was on your to, part to show what a right. fucking. Don't be this cheap. There's like, loyalty don't involved. It. Don't take. There's it. loyalty involved. Wait a minute. You mean the guy that probably came over on a slave ship and his sister's a hooker somewhere, <laughs> jerking guys off to pay her debts, wanted the money he spent <laughs> when he's cleaning your fucking fish tank in your fucking condo? You tell dick jokes for a living? The <laughs> nerve of that guy to want his money. Fuck you. But that, but to Patrice's point, I'm sure you tip the guy every fucking Dude, week too. Dude, I never. If or the every bill month, is two eighty, you're always. Not just, getting if it's right. two eighty and ten cent, I'm not. It's embarrassing to just yeah change. It's embarrassing change them out. to do that. But but it, th there's something in them, and, I, and I'm telling you, the, my my laundry person, the, the 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 everybody's Asian. They do a fantastic job, but the people skills. Are I don't hard. know what it is. It has to be a a, a, a mental thing. because yeah, they yeah. don't understand. I'll never come back here again. <laughs> And they don't understand. I don't speak English. That's the thing. In Miami, I couldn't. It, it was for, it was for uh, Mexican reasons, but I couldn't order any food to be delivered because people answer the phone ah! and you go, <laughs> you go. Uh, can I? <laughs> do you deliver? Ah! Not. It's just. I'm like, do you understand how much money you're fucking losing? Like, they should do that show. I watched this show, um, Undercover shit. Boss. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. They should have this with people that don't. Oh, it's like, is this acceptable? These screams? Uh, can you deliver me? <laughs> and you go, and you go, hi, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, do you deliver? And you, and you go out of your way. And this mm -hmm. is what I'm getting tired of, too. They treat niggas like shit. I, I go out of my way to be fucking nice because I know they all hate niggas. Yeah. I know they all do. And they don't understand sarcasm and everything. So white people understand sarcasm, at least. Do we? At least. <laughs> at least. So you get when a nigga's like, really? But they don't get when a nigga's like, really? They're sitting there. Yeah, what, why? why? What is your, your problem? I'm like, are you charging? Are you charging? Apple Store, Asian guy. 
I, 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 they got this thing, the, the magic pad now. They kind of, they took off the laptop thing, and it just now, it's just by itself. So now you can do a laptop. Do I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little metal thing. That yeah, works they, they like took a the metal thing pad, out and they yeah. sell it separate. You have to upgrade to the ten point six uh, 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 leopard, uh -huh. snow leopard, to use it. I didn't know that. I bring it to the Chinese guy. He goes, ah, they, they say upgrade. I say what? Mm -hmm. uh, upgrade. Upgrade? What do you mean? Fuck? How much? It's <laughs> How much? I said, do you think this is fair? This piece of shit held the box and, and ran his fingers across where it said 10.6. I go, I just bought this computer. I have a 10.5, you motherfucker. And he slid his finger to... He's sarcastic to me and yeah, he doesn't yeah, even yeah. speak English. Uh. <laughs> is that a free upgrade, though? You just update... Upgrade? No! 10.6 costs fucking $30 for one computer, $50 for five. Wait, you can't just go online up the you, software upgrades? You got to pay wow. for 10.5 to 10.6. You got to pay. The only thing you don't have to pay for wow. is you go 10.6, and then the point after the six, you know, it's 10.6, three, 10.6. Right. Oh, you, you. you get, as long as it's 10.6, you can always upgrade, but then you're going to have to buy 10.7 to use the fucking uh. mouse. And an Asian guy treats you like dog shit. <laughs> <Man>! Fuck! <laughs> Asians are just up, 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 upgrade, up, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Up, 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 he only charges twenty. <gasps> Fuck! Oh, wow! And 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 like you said, if you if it, if anybody goes to quimination. You get fired for being a fucking racist. Yeah. This, what did that person just say? I'm telling you, Jews get a bad cheap rep, but I'm telling you, dude, there's no way <laughs> Jews are cheaper than fucking Asians. Cheap rep. Penny, I mean, to the dime. Yeah. If I ever own things, if I ever own businesses, Asians, Indi they are fucking, trust me. Trust me, mm -hmm. I'm hiring them. <laughs> yeah. Because they will die over your cigarettes. A nigga will be robbing the store and he will not let the. You, nigga, your last name is not 11. Let the cigarette. They have insurance for that. You fucking dipshit. Let them steal them. And if I'm short 99, if it's, the, if it's 98 cent, I give you 97. Let me go for the penny. Yeah. I swear to God, I'll bring the two cents back to you tomorrow. Especially if you see me you're every day. Every day. You're, you're a penny shot. You're a penny shot. Yeah, you press I your am. face against the bulletproof glass. It's me. I know your name. Your name is Darren. Your name is Darren Patak. I know you, nigga. What are you doing? Loyalty, you motherfuckers. Loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> I love this every fucking time. Horrible, every man. Every fucking time. Because we all have our restaurants we go to all the time. And if they do the right thing, they take care of you every once in a while. This sushi what lady. Fuck, I went to this one sushi place. I went to fucking get a bike for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Family bike days. Yeah, nice. Went in there to get the sushi place. This uh. lady's treat. She can't get past nigga. Oh, really? She won't get past it. And she's treating me like... Shit! I'm sarcastic, right? Here's what I'm really getting tired of this. People handing you, this is what they do. Hand you your credit card slip and say, sign here. Oh, no. What do you think I'm trying to skate, bitch? L give me you a were going to leave without you signing. You sign here! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> And you're there every Tuesday, I spent Thursday. I spent $62 on dead fish, you cunt. <laughs> I in the hair. Nah. And I signed it, and I said, oh, wait, I came back, and I made, I said, give me that slip. I've made two, six wiggly lines where the tip should be, <laughs> and made sure that she knew I'm never coming back and no fucking tip. Damn. And this is going to make the next nigga that come in here get treated even worse. Right. But please take responsibility for the fact that I'm a fucking great tipper. Nothing less than 20. Sometimes it hurts. I don't want to tip. I don't want to pay 120. Yeah, yeah, 100, yeah, yeah. But I do. Fucking bitch. Fuck. They treat, the, they treat niggas like shit. <laughs> Wow.
And white people, especially old white women, treat anybody in the service industry like garbage. Yeah. <laughs> there's look at <laughs> I, there's certain things that look when you get when you go out to certain places where you should get some races you get treated you should get treated better in some situations. Uh, at a restaurant, I, uh, white people probably should get treated better a, as a as a whole. But at a sneaker store, when I walk into the Foot Locker, or some black girl's buying a pair of red shoes to match her earrings, you know, she, or her fucking hat, you should ru you should push an annoying white person who's really trying to find out what the gel is for <laughs> in the fucking Asics <laughs> for some nigga that's getting ready to just buy the new Jordans because yeah. they out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Treat me better at the sneaker store. Treat you better at the fucking. You feel me? Bank. <laughs> the, treat you better at the bank. <laughs> Most like you got a better account than the, than the average nigga. But there's some things we do that we should just get treated. Chinese food? How the fuck can the bulletproof Chinese place treat me like shit? The bulletproof Chinese place. Because bulletproof they need Chinese to be place? a bulletproof Chinese place. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah but, but God Never bless them. Especially when niggas. Don't uh, there's nowhere where white people shop where they say no credit cards where it's cash only nowhere mm -hmm. no fucking where you go places niggas put up with that stupid shit cash only really this is illegal there's places with no credit card dude cash <laughs> fucking only and then some that gotta... tell you you can't it's illegal to say there's an amount that you're not being able to charge I there's gotta... no limit I actually ate at an Italian joint over the weekend cash only. Really? What that's about right. Yeah, occasionally uh, food restaurants. Yeah. You're right. Uh, what oh, Peter yeah. Luger's is cash only. It's a yeah, very Peter famous. Peter Luger's state. is cash only steak joint. How the fuck can they get away with they that? They don't want to pay a percentage right. of the credit card companies. That's right, cash only. They're so allowed they, to do that. I forgot so they about just that. Turn place. down that shit yeah, because a lot of them don't want to pay a percentage because you got to pay a little bit, three percent or whatever. A lot of them won't take Amex because they charge a higher percentage. But aren't they just I got an destroying their money. Cash only. Nobody, nobody carries money. Especially Peter Lucas, the end of the bill is Honestly, $300. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, this Italian is. joint, the sauce is amazing. I avoid the place because of the cash only and only go there every once in a while. But he don't care because I think there's something else going on. Oh. But damn, the food is delicious. Dude, I carry so much cash, I don't care. Oh, Jimmy. Just willy-nilly. Never just say out of your that. pockets as you walk. Yeah, Throw hundreds. Not, 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 $200 Walking down meals. Broadway. Sometimes you fucking, you know, sometimes you... Cash, you know, sometimes meals be a hundred and some odd dollars. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Cash only, that's a little rough, right? I fucking love Chinese food, and you end up, you know, you pay a hundred and something dollars. And and, and and to be honest, the, the one that I go to where I go, only go there because they somewhat treat me fucking decent. Hey, mm -hmm. we got a Chinese broad on the line. What, is she uh, mad? No, okay, not at all. Thank God. Uh, what Chinese, uh, Renee? It's Korean. All right, Korean. What all right. is that, better? Don Rickles line. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese and Japanese. What is that, better? <laughs> and why won't you fuck on, niggas? I'll... That's another thing. Right, wait, let's start with what she's got first, and then we'll move on. Go ahead, uh, Renee. All right. I just wanted to comment on the conversation y'all are having. Um, I am treated like shit by Asian people. I was adopted when I was like one years old from Korea, raised by white people, all that. And I swear to God, they can tell. I went to go get my nails done last week. Made an appointment for 3.30, got there, weren't ready, waited for a half an hour. White girl comes walking in, and they took the white bitch before. They took me. i have been sitting there for a half an hour. They love white people. They do. And I, like, when I made the appointment on the phone, they were nice as hell to me. I, I come in there, they barely say, like, anything to me. It just me off. Sure. But you know what? Over there, though, they treat each other like shit. They, like, they, sweatshops, and, mm -hmm. and they have little kids taking out, like, Lithium batteries and chewing them, <laughs> like they're, they're just are they? not humane. Why would they make them chew them? <laughs> Battery gum. Because oh, <laughs> <just, laughs> they're trying to save that. Yeah. There's, I think there's a little piece of gold inside yeah. every TV set that keep. Yeah, they, yeah. They, so they have them like picking that. off the little pieces of gold. <laughs> Battery <Fucking> gum. <laughs> Kids with their fucking what was brains the other question? outside. What was the other question for Well, Renee? she's adopted, so oh. it doesn't. Oh, okay. She's adopted. Hey, Renee, you should see Patrice. He's going to be in the area. DC oh, Improv. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, Over the weekend. Coming oh, up. Oh, like Mitch Vitale the other weekend. Yeah, we're thinking about going down there, so. Don't even think about it. Patrice rules. Especially right, Washington. Right. It's his favorite place. I'm so racist against adopted Asians, too, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you would never give a black man a chance, would you? <laughs> um, that's not true at all. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> a lot of laughing in that. <laughs> yeah. 
You see how beautiful Asian and black babies are, though. They're gorgeous. Yeah, they, you can think about it. They got a nice combo going on, right? Yeah, think about it. Yeah, well. Tomorrow, Korean. Lee Simmons, she's hot. Put a little, you, know, you mix uh, the Koreans with a little something else, and wow, what comes out is Makes nice. Makes up for being, having a shit beat out of you in school. <laughs> Yeah. That's a little Ever. bit. Take a Korean girl and mix her with anything, and you're going to have a nice-looking baby. <laughs> what? what are you laughing at? Oh, oh man, laughing is that a miserable, miserable woman. That's communism, though, man. That's, that's one thing about America. That's, we that's, that picture we, smells we like communism. We the market on fucking laughter and smiles. Yeah. These fucking people... Third, I'm sorry, sweetie. Third world women are miserable, which means Just their miserable. men are fucking horrible. To, they yeah. look at them. Look at her. You they, think she's ever laughed? She's not getting. She's never had a big cock or seen one. <laughs> no. She's being fucked by a horrible small dick with fucking that horrible fish breath. Her rotten husband with his straight pubes. <laughs> she gets a horrible fuck every with night. His, oh, yeah. With his blurred out dick then. Yeah. <laughs> in that little boxy <laughs> one room house. His most dick down that on she her. can't even really see. Now, <laughs> now Patrice, uh, <laughs> going back to the restaurant, <laughs> and he's saying, you know, he worked in the industry, and he says blacks are the worst tippers. I'm, I'm going to say this. But Listen. if you're going to the same joint over and over again, that takes it out of the thank, equation. Thank They're, you so much. But they have to be acknowledging, you know, what kind of tip you're looking at for a while, tipping right? You've got to understand tipping at what Jimmy uh -huh. calls having a gentleman's meal, okay? Tipping at a place with a gentleman's meal. Some people, right, they go there. I'm tipping What's is a gentleman's a, meal? Like a like steak joint or something? Like steak. McDonald's where you know it's nice. Where it's yeah. a nice meal. Gentleman's atmosphere. Yeah, it's a gentleman's meal. Okay. What about a shitty Chinese restaurant? A no. shitty now, a shitty Chinese restaurant. Everybody could. It's very, first of all, not everybody. And, and I'm telling you, growing up with the way I grew up, we mm -hmm. tipping. That's not the thing. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, it's very. Sometimes it's difficult math wise to even know. So if you go, sometimes a motherfucker will pay fifty and go. Ew, well, really? if I. Uh, five? Uh, like, like they don't know 20 times five, you know, yeah. 10. It's, it's 10. So a lot of times you go out with cash and you go to Red Lobster, you have $60. The bill comes to fifty eight ninety five. Here's your 60. Keep the two. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people, if they knew, they would fucking tip and they, they would plan for fucking tipping. It's easy. Move the decimal one place to the left and then double it. I just worked in North Carolina. You know what the waitresses said to me in North Carolina? What? Oh, they no. Said, they said, thank God. Thank God you you have a mixed crowd. Oh. Meaning white people came because they fucking hate black shows. Wow. So they saw some white people there. They were like, thank oh, God. We're going to make some money. A few and, bucks. And, and, then, they, and then they went out and, and to, to say, like, look, it wasn't. it's not even the, the guys. Because guys, we're just easy going. The guys will fucking just want life to be good. It's the women, all women. But black women get where I asked for 17 french fries. You uh, only brought me 13. You're like, oh, come on, bitch. I got bad service. I'm not tipping. I, I got I to gotta ask you a really dumb question. Do black guys uh, drink like white guys at comedy shows? You get the white guys at the comedy shows. They're, they're no, drinking. No, nobody drinks like white people do. White people are. Uh, there is a difference, fucking, right? Yeah. Black, black, black guys don't sip. White people guzzle. And, there is and, a difference, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the white, what black people. So the comedy club very, sees a lot of, uh, you know, white guys coming in. They, they know they're going to make some they, cash they off the know, bar. But, but black people drink when they go out. What they kind of drink does a black guy do? At a comedy club, sips, sips, drinks a lot, drinks a lot of Heineken, and drinks a lot of uh, uh, Hennessy, of black beer? Hennessy and Coke. Do you know what And I the women drink a lot uh, of girly drinks. So the women ultimately drink a little more than the guys. But guys drink a lot, and they, and they drink top shelf. When black people go out, they try to, you know, treat themselves very nice. Uh, white people drink shots, and huh. they get drunk. You know what I'm saying? Black people do get drunk, but we become drunk. White people are, like, but immediately to go somewhere, they got to be drunk. White people are drunks. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's just a different culture with drinking. It's we gotta, just we got to deal with the crime. It's, it's not. You know what it is. There's only someone way to get through it. That's even more depressing that black people act that way sober. <laughs> Drink, <laughs> drinking away your we sorrows. We don't have as much fun doing things. Like we don't have fun drinking. It's yeah. Drinking is it's a process. Social. Yeah, and white people social are more of a process, right? White people are a lot of fun. That's the one thing I, I tell black people. White people are a lot of fun. White people do. A lot sexually, a lot of fun. Black people love fucking. 
but it's not. It's fucking. It's like yeah, yeah, you yeah. Watch the, it's like. You know, I got I got buddies, you know, white buddies like, oh, dude, I put a baseball bat in her asshole. It's like, what? <laughs> but it's like funny. And they'll send you a picture and go, look at the culprit in the corner. So it's the, girl, out, yeah. the girl's smiling, but he really showing me the baseball bat and mm -hmm. the bitch that he shoved her. And it's fun. But, you know, black women, they love fucking, but it ain't. It's not a lot of baseball bats. There's got to be a little respect. Not a lot of peeing. Oh, not yeah. a lot of, There's know, respect. A lot yeah, of fun. Wants, wants, a lot of no fun. smacking, no choking respect. and shit. You know, it's like it's like that. You ain't spanking her hiney. I, I saw a porno and the can bitch you, was like, don't be trying to throw me around. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> can you, can don't you be trying to Can you spank a black girl's hiney? You can if, you, if you're if you just being forceful. If you're like, bam, she going to do that. It like, I, I, There was a time I used to do a lot of, um, you know, when I was really getting demon in my day. I used to... You once you figure out certain things, you you learn how to you know you get into the little spit thing. You know what I mean? Like I just like girls that some about girls doing things they ain't supposed to be doing really sexy. So you know I used mm. to just go you know, spit on my face. Uh. You know, and no I can't. I said do it. Go ahead do it. So then I would I just spit on their face, but like on the oh, cheek, shit. on the cheek, and then I just lick it off. And once that happened, you can feel her filth. Coming, coming along. Her filth is coming along. Feel that she's just like, oh my god, what it's just happened? Now, now she's just, she's face. just. Yeah. Once girls get open up to that filthy thing, it's just, it's, it's, it, that is such a beautiful fucking. What's matter, thing. Jimmy? You don't like that? Not the licking it off part. You, but that's just the. It, it helps him with the dignity part. Yeah, Patrice, uh, just grossed out Jimmy for the first time. Well, a guy, though, picture a guy spitting yeah. in someone's face. You said the girl spitting your face didn't bother me, right, but cool. a, a guy spitting in someone's face. I'm like, yeah, hey, all right, so. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like that. Blacks don't drink because they end up shooting each other. No, oh, nah, we shoot say. each other sober, dude. That's at the black that's party. That's clarity. That's we, at a black party. Shooting is a weed thing. Oh fuck, Chris Look Houston. Out. I knew it would get to this point. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, hey, Patrice is full of crap. The blacks don't. The blacks sip on the drinks because they don't want to buy extra drinks, man. You sound rich. <laughs> like stop. Yeah. Like it's a cultural <laughs> thing. It's not a money thing. It's just. We don't guzzle drinks because we don't drink to get drunk. It's social. It's just a social thing. You, white people drink to get some white people drink to get drunk. You never see black people playing the game where there's a fucking funnel and a hose in a bitch's mouth. <laughs> Like, it doesn't happen. That's why I asked you the question. It, it seems drink, to... Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> it'll be, Black guys it'll don't be do one that. nigga in there doing it. Yeah, like, yeah. one nigga with a lot of white friends. But you don't see a bunch of niggas sitting around. They they pour Cavassier. They pour Hennessy. They get they get tipsy. And then you go, oh, shit, this nigga's drunk. Yeah, but they don't have to drink as much. And, and white because girls you guys stumble going... till they die. And black girls wait, get wait. horny when they drink black, a little bit. Black guys drink hard, harder shit, right? Yes. We don't have fun with you're, drinking. You're not going out and drinking 18 beers. Yeah, or trying to guzzle a tequila. Liquor, it's, 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 it's a different you culture. Sip it, stop. You sip it and, and enjoy it a little bit. Eh, kegs and the whole thing. We're not. You never did a keg party. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, That's such a white yeah, boy. When I, when I do my cookouts, <laughs> the liquor I have, because, you know, I got mixed mixed crowd. I okay. wouldn't know. I bought a gym. Thanks. Oh, man. Yeah. You never got invited? Yeah. Come on. Maybe once he sort he, of invited I think he invited me. you. Sort of. I think I got a sort of invite. Hey, you coming? Yeah. I got one of those. I'm gonna, you coming? I would I would go to one of your parties. I'm going to invite you next time. Cool. I would like I to check that you. out. I just don't believe it. And it's, it's I know a, you're weird about it. I would go, though. I just don't believe it. I don't believe it, but I'm going to. I'm I, going to I, do it. I'm next going time. to surprise you. And and here's what I like about Ant. You coming, Ant? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy that day. I... <laughs> Why? Well, you know, I, but 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 I make sure for my white uh, customers. <laughs> I have um, Jim Bean. Jim Bean for white people. Here's something that's been in my house. Ant? White people. Listen, yeah, I guess. I, this is what I know. There's a lot of white white. white I here's what I. What do you think I drink? You did the drug thing earlier. Wait, let me... Let Go me, around the room. What do you think we all drink as well, white boys? I want to tell you what no one drinks is Bombay gin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's no one drinks Bombay gin. I, I, no one drinks Bombay gin. They drink Bombay sapphire gin. That's the difference. Ah, uh, uh, shit. I, I think no I idea. had sapphire because I asked the guy with the top. That's the I have stuff. Bombay sapphire gin. It's been there five years. <laughs> no one fucks No me. one has touched uh, it. <laughs> okay, vodka... Black people and white people love vodka. Yeah, oh, yeah. Vodka, that's, a, that's an easy black one. Black people love vodka, cranberry vodka and soda, and white people like vodka straight. 
all little oranges. Not just straight. Not, yeah, not that's, many what white. I, nah. that's what I saw. Um, really? Black people love Kavase. Any any um, cognac. Uh, white people do the Jim Bean, little whiskey. And for beer, I get dark dark beer for uh, white white dudes, like a red stripe maybe. Or a, uh, uh, and Corona for white people. If I didn't mm. make a choice, two beers. <laughs> Corona yeah. for white people. You got me. Heineken for black people. You got that's, me. That's, that would be easy, right? That's my, that's, Heineken. and then a whole bunch of, uh, I didn't know the Heineken's little, the black uh, thing. the drinks, the, uh, the coolers mm. things. And right. they go, wine coolers. And they go, yeah, not wine, but you know, the fucking, kind of like, uh, like, Smirnoffs and, like the hard yeah, iced tea yeah. and all yeah, that. That, that goes. Smirnoff the girl, ice. The girlies drink those. You're like Louis the 13th? What's that? Is that Kanye? Louis Trey. I don't drink. I just, no, I mean, I, I, I buy, I buy I Hennessy and yeah, Louis I, I Trey buy uh, Cavassier. I might, ha I might give him my Louis Trey. Community. That's too much money. That's like four hundred dollars for that bottle. Isn't that like really it's expensive crazy. a shot? Yeah, we got yeah, that not, from. Uh, who oh, gave tequila. It? Sorry. Uh, I, give it to I, us. I bought eighteen hundred one time. Oh, yeah. Which is the dumbest. I tried to do that cat thing. It's the <sighs> stupidest. What's thing that? Ever. 1800 tequila it's just dumb it's crazy it's just Why? dumb cuz it, it it you can't pour it in the cap no it's impossible to do the cap thing I don't, I don't. the thing with the cap he goes here's their this is their fucking and I'm thing i'm confused what is this i don't know this is their thing. it's it's to, it, it, you know the big tequila is uh uh yeah. what's the biggie uh, Cuervo. Uh, the major Cuervo. one. Jose Cuervo. Not Patron. Cuervo, Patron. Patron. That's yeah, the Patron one. Niggas gotta have Patron. <laughs> so Patron, <laughs> and then the one under that is fucking eighteen hundred. Uh -huh. And and you put this eighteen hundred shit, and it's supposed to be, hey, what can what can your cap do? Like the thing is, my cap can make a shot. Your cap is just fucking a cork. Like, whatever, <laughs> yeah. and it don't even work. Yeah, it's you gotta do it the right way. It's horse manure. It, no, I, it's, I, I don't get it. It's, not, it's the pour commercial. It you pour, you, pour you the, never seen the commercial? You, pour, you pour the no. bottle upside down, pretty much, and it fills the. It the fills cap. The but how cap. do you take the fucking? You gotta thing. do it real quick. You gotta do it. Oh, it's a whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I got you. Shit. Oh, I don't. I didn't know this. But Anthony is a look at you, all right, buddy. This nigga is not like a, a junkie. We almost, uh, we almost, I'm so goddamn tired. So tired. This nigga. I'm this like, nigga, uh, This nigga. Yeah, I can't even drive like What, you have, you have a late night? <laughs> no, I actually didn't. I had such a busy weekend. Oh, fuck that. I was <laughs> driving like, like a junkie. Jesus. I was driving and like friggin' all weekend. How you gonna get home, man? I don't know. It's gonna be tough. This, that, that Escalade could careen off of some walls. You better ask somebody to drive you home, Watch dude. me. Take a cab, dude. I didn't even I'm notice like, he was nodding. Oh, Are you man, going back to the line? I did you know, once. I tell? I, he didn't close his eyes. I one, one, one eye, eye just got went, bigger. No, I should have uh, <laughs> I should have known because Zan stretches when he's tired. And yeah, remember yeah. he did the stretch thing? I've been thing? stretching like crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah usually my, that's his Monday that's morning fucking stretchy. That's Anthony's tell. He's tired. Ant's got TV tonight. I know, but I got to go home, too. Why? First, to work out. Oh, okay. And then and then I got to come back into the city. So there's a lot of driving. That's I'm gonna a have lot to nap. Of fucking money, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Remy Martin. How much? Oh, I never Remy? even heard of Louis this one. the 14th. Well, this is, is the 13th. This is black, black, pearl. black pearl. But is that back from Louis the actual Louis the 14th time? Ah, dude, I don't know. No, what the, no. I never heard of this shit. Louis Price the 14th is I, we grand. got a bottle of Louis the 13th from I, uh, which comedy this, club though. took care of us? I don't remember now. That's, yeah, that's, cool. that's the cognac I'm, we I'm, have. It's about Caroline's always takes care of us. I think I bought a hundred thousand dollar liquor. You know, I would just stick my finger and everybody lick, lick my finger. There you go. I wash my hand. Here, you take a lick. I got a question for the cognac people. My Louis the Thirteenth, I've had for ten, twelve years because I don't drink the shit, and uh, it's it's gone through some temperature changes. Does that fuck it up? Fuck I it don't up? think so. It's been you in got really a, you hot got a basements. Bottle, two thousand dollar bottle of liquor. Now? Easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They oh, say the, the bottle looks all classy. They say the empty bottle is worth like five hundred dollars, something like that. Mine is open. Have you drunk it? No, no, it's, like, it's unopened. Sealed. I might give it to you for your your friends. I don't give oh, a shit. Oh shit! I don't need the money. That's how much I don't drink. I fucking just put. Hey, just I have to some try money. some. And I would only I'm, invite people who understood that this is Louis the Thirteenth. That it's real. I bet good you if shit. I poured shots for all of us, none of us would know if why. If I catch a it nigga a, putting diet coke in the Louis, I'll smack the shit out. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's mixing it up. Did I, you just fucking put? Did you just put cooler ice? I guarantee. Fucking... We pour shots now. One of us in this room would would be able to say why it's it's tasty and good and i probably would hate it yeah it's like over a like hundred dollars a lot of these restaurants weird, cost a hundred dollars hundred dollars a shot for that shit hundred dollars a shot for uh Ridiculous. louis the 13th how good could it be that's what i'm saying i, and I bet you we sip that shit choice when you was doing your thing uh i i was broke 
Some. <laughs> no, nah, it's a gargler of choice. That and Lavoris. No, I would drink uh, any, yeah, any type of beer, um, a lot of grain alcohol because it was very cheap. We, had, we would have $5 to drink. Like, you had no money, so you had it's to buy the stuff. Fuck yeah, moonshine. It was, that's what it was, yeah. But I, I didn't like it. It was terrible, but it got you loaded. I, you're a tequila guy. No, no, no I hate tequila. It's I'm a, a Captain and Coke, Jack and Coke. Oh, fucking. Shit like that. Fucking uh, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. Or Jack Dan, uh, uh, Captain Morgan. You know, spiced rum, that's great with Coke. Or the, although over the like the weekend, I would have a uh, vodka and cranberry. I like that shit. That's I have good. a lot of wine. Wine goes to wine. I got a lot yeah. of wine. And you're you're a wine guy. Yeah, I like wine. You're not a hard liquor guy. Nah, I'm not really. What's sure. your hard liquor if you decided to? I stopped really drinking heavily when I hit thirty. When you when you were drinking heavily. Thirty was thirty was the cutoff for me. What was the cut? What was this? What did you stop? Drinking? I just drank a lot, a lot of beer. Anything? Oh, I was a shot guy. You know, I did it under under the cage of being at your uh, house. I did have a fucking oh yeah uh, yeah yeah get yeah. a stout. I had to yeah Guinness. I had to bob that was down. A, you were hysterical. I had I to bob you had one. Guinness. You're just sitting in that chair like yep. Jagermeister, yeah, all that shit. Enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. Well, it was very enjoyable. I haven't been back since though. Let's get all. Yeah, let's get all get back. drunk. I think I'm gonna have a party on uh like a Labor Day weekend party. I might, uh, I might call yeah. it off and come. It's gonna be like, a, yeah. I mean, I might call off my thing and. It's gonna be a. Uh, you said your party's gonna be when we're not away. A two day, uh, one. Uh, well, it's Labor Day. I'm out. Gotta have something. I'm out. I'll be some, there. But I'm gonna do like Saturday going. and Sunday. Now, like can you, two can days you be, straight. Can you be um, selective or the people? You just let anybody crawl in. No, no, I can shit. be pretty selective. Oh my god. At times, <clears> yeah. Only one uh, I can deal with. I'm, I might be able to deal with Pat from Minaki, but I'm not gonna fucking. Big A. I'm gonna push him in his no. pool. I'm gonna push him in your pool and watch it start sizzling. Wait till, you, <laughs> wait till you meet the new one, Ira. You got to get Ira to your house. <laughs> Ira, no, I don't think Ira's gonna be look at coming over my house. Ira. Hey, let's go to Joe. I gotta know you, you about know my cognac really fast. You know what's great or though? Cognac. Before Joe, real fast. Yeah. Patrice telling me that I was nodding was like the car weaving and almost hitting something. You wake up and go, "Holy shit!" Because <laughs> now I'm like. Now I'm awake. You were gone, dude. Patrice was the you. wall that I almost hit. Was he I not? Saw, I saw it. I saw it because I one, 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 one eye kind of went like, what? What, yeah, what the fuck gonna, was that? I'm going to miss that. And his mouth was getting ready to... Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was tough. And you're not a one-word answer guy either. No. You just went... Uh -huh. Unless you say, who, you who's the problem in this country? <laughs> That's in still person. two words. In person. In person. In person. In person. In person. Problem? Yeah, you know. Uh, Joe, tell me about my <laughs> cognac. Oh, that cognac, man. I mean, it's, uh, Louis Trey is, uh, they put about 1% out of a barrel that was aged, you know, like a couple hundred years ago. The rest of it's like, uh, 10, 20, 30 years after that. And then it's in a waterproof crystal container. Now, I've worked in the strip clubs and, uh, fine restaurants all over the country. And the common rule amongst everybody, if you buy the last shot, you get the bottle. You take it home. So if you see something that's down to the fucking last drop, say, I'll take that last drop, but, you know, give me the bottle. And they'll, they should do it at their quality place, but, you know. Well, I've seen it yeah. uh, $100, $110 a shot. Is it worth it? I, I, don't, I don't know. You know. No way. You know, I, I, literally, honestly, yeah. You know what? I'm right with you, Ann, because I sold bottles of wine for forty five grand. Wow. And is it fucking worth it? You know? Yeah, it is. Uh, if you know, if you're making a billion dollars a year, if you just, you know, if you're the owner of Walmart and uh, I, you just made two hundred thousand dollars by the time you finish dinner, you know, it's all relevant. I had a, uh, I had oh. two two thousand dollar bottles of wine. I, I obviously didn't buy them. Uh, I'll beat you to the punch. I, uh, it was a guy that owned an island off Cape Cod, and he was breaking out this this. I, I, I told the story a few times where the cork is basically falling out of the bottle. It was like 1967 or something oh, really? like that. The it's label, not even that old. The label's like falling off this damn thing, and and man, was it good? Absolutely. <laughs> was it two thousand dollars good? I don't know. Right, right. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I, I knew I was drinking some good shit, though. Absolutely. Because I drank enough yeah. wine to know, but, you know. Wine's, as long as they take care of wine is living. Now, when you, you're talking about uh, the Louis Trey being hot, uh, don't worry about it. It's distilled. Any distilled product, it can go right. up and down in temperature. It doesn't matter. It's not. You know, I you know, might give it to Patrice, Patrice for your friends. Yeah, Patrice says he has a. If you're pouring uh, cognac, bottle, then you take this bottle, bottle off my hands. I don't know yeah. what to do with it. 
It's an impressive I'm going to really do an injustice to this bottle. I'm <laughs> yeah, you ever see his friends fucking Will? What's Louis? Have some salmon and do I a shot. I might stop pouring over a bitch's head. <laughs> Damn, bro. What's a, what's a Finger face? Finger fuck yourself. This is Louis the 13th. <laughs> 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 when that motherfucker's empty, <laughs> <laughs> fucking I'm, refill it with uh, Hennessy VF. And no one will know, right? And nobody will know. Uh, that's what, what I'm thinking. Man. Maybe you could do that, too. I'm filling it with fruit punch. Listen, <laughs> I'm fucking, it's raining, I, bitch. Iced tea. Pour it all over your body. And then see what everybody thinks. God damn, that motherfucker's pouring. Danny, what's uh, Louis the Thirteenth going? For? All right, enough. All right, sir. Thank you. Obsessed. <laughs> Thank you. You fucking alky. He is what is screaming about. What's the basic it. bottle of Louis the Thirteenth going for right Average now? Average price is looking like seventeen hundred. No, really? Then the price has gone way the fuck up since we got our bottle in. Yeah. I, I was offered a thousand dollars at a liquor store for it once. Wow, really? Yeah, because I was just casually talking to the guy. He goes, "I'll fucking buy that bottle right now for a thousand dollars." So I remember that. A grand? Shit that's a hat. long time ago. I don't know where the fucking guy is anymore. So that's, a, that's a bargain. He's somewhere out on Long Island. What? That's a bargain. I guess he thought he could make money off it at the time. So now you're telling me it's it's pushing almost two thousand dollars for this with bottle? The, with the uh, what is that? Wow. I, I got seven, that one right yeah. there with the box, the red box. Yep. Right there. Yeah, that's mine. Well, uh, yeah, this is a small one. That's uh, the fifty. That's that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a very small bottle. But I think what you have is probably the seven fifty uh, mil. Maybe mine is the small. No, no, no. I don't think we'll so. Show no? the like no. It's that one, right there. With, with the, the weird box. box. <laughs> Dance, bitch, for this Louis. Two thousand yeah. bucks, motherfucker. Two thousand fucking dollars. Come on, you want it? Crawl. Crawl. <laughs> How much is that? Seventeen. Oh, almost, almost two. I'm opening it up. I'm like, all right, hoes. Yeah. yeah. Look at what Bring I on the bitches. They wouldn't even know. No, I, they wouldn't know. There's probably no, not most that many bitches that would even know. Meanwhile, most, not, yeah. the guys would most even know. It's Louis the CK. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cum. Yeah, just cum with freckles on it. <laughs> That's what gives it the, the color. <laughs> Fucking freckles. Right? Are you serious? Really? So this is... This uh, it was given to us years ago. It was very oh, nice. Oh, man, a long time ago. I wanted to say it was Rascals before it closed. Been. No, right? <laughs> no, no, I have no, no. idea. I think it might have been, though. Do you still have that bottle of uh, the Sam Adams oh, yeah. triple Bach fucking Oh, yeah. I get that, too. Still. What's shit. that? What is this rich uh, shit? That's another, like, thing that It was a special uh, thing. Cook he only made, us. like, a thousand bottles, gave me and Aunt one. A it beer? Was numbered. It's yeah. a weird beer. It's like it's it's a shot like, of that shit will kill you. It's almost you. like cognac. Yeah. It's like a fucking... How big's the bottle? Heavy duty. Uh, it's like a... It's illegal to while. sell in, in a lot of states because it's just too much alcohol That's in it. That's right. I forgot all about this. It might be. Utopia? Is that no, if, you, if, if I saw the bottle, I would know. Limited it didn't look like edition. That. And how much is it? Like uh, 800 Well, look at the prices online been, for know. this. Triple Bach, yeah, it was some kind of triple Bach. Triple that's bo it. That's the Bach. Oh, that's well, it right there. Nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Oh, great! <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim Cook. You're bragging oh, no. about a ten-dollar so, beer. No, I'm Thanks, so Jim Cook. Fucking happy, you pieces of shit. The I next, mean, the next story uh, was yeah, for Del Castro that, flew in and made us a goal. And you it. know that's it. I've is been saving, it? I've been Come saving on. this bottle like it's the most valuable thing no. I own. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's nine. It's nine Which euros. Which makes it $20. So it's a $20 bottle. <laughs> that makes no, come on. Oh, you fuckers was going to get it up like that. Then you got mine's, in a, mine's in a glass case like it's the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Is that <laughs> fucking thing like signed and oh, shit? Geez. Well, ours was signed, though. So throw a couple oh, bucks on it. Or take a couple bucks off because it's damaged. <laughs> Find another one. happier, you guys. Find another one that looks like that bottle, Danny. Put that shit in your cocky cereal, nigga. Just eat that. I'm going to go home and I'll tweet. Millennium. It was the Millennium. All right, what's the Millennium about? Ah, that's eight ninety five. Sam Adams Millennium. What's the Millennium about? Th that's the one that I know as being like the super expensive. That's the one. Where's the Millennium? It's this stuff, the Utopia. No, we didn't. It's that's no, no, not it. It, it was in that other bottle. <laughs> you guys are so happy. Put in Sam Adams <laughs> Millennium. I did. Yeah, it did. Oh. But it doesn't. The bottle doesn't look like that, and it looked like the other one. I'm telling you. No, I'll bring it in tomorrow. Like that, you really thought that was worth some yeah, that six dollar beer? It's good. Uh, I, I wish that this antique road show. Uh, oh, would you oh, be surprised shit. if I told you this was twenty dollars, yeah. dude? I'm telling you, that is the right, exact three, fucking bottle. Three bottles, forty bones, dude. My great great grandfather oh, gave me this fuck. beer. Well, How this shit is. I am gonna throw <laughs> that fucking thing it's out in the street. It's not only spoiled, but it's ten bucks. I'm gonna shake it up and just fucking dump it in my pool. How great is that? I've been saving <laughs> this thing like it's the most valuable thing. And I then tell the movers to be careful with it. <laughs> oh yeah, all that shit. <laughs> Vintage no, 1997 uh, is fucking forty bucks. 
And that's for three bottles. For three bottles. You know when you move, you like you always have a box of shit you don't trust anyone with. The, yeah, I'll that's, be taking that's the triple definitely bucket. in that box. Take every the time. triple box in the car. Don't put it in the truck. Right. <sighs> oh, what a fuck. waste. What a waste of time. I'm so happy. How funny is that? Oh. We were bragging like, oh, you fucking wait till you see how much this is. Hey, guys, let me open the treasure chest and show you what I got. <laughs> we got 40 bucks for three. Oh, we just got the middle of light, <laughs> top of the line beer. Uh, okay. Miller Light. We just got Coors, <laughs> the Coors Special Edition. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. He gave you three beers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, he made man. it sound like... He even said, remember, he said that there's only a thousand of these that's or something bullshit. like that. What a motherfucker. Uh, oh, that's classic. <laughs> we got, Fuck. We got the Budweiser and he, Conan the Barbarian edition. Where it's, <laughs> it's, it comes with a sword. It's worth zillions. I was scared to bring it over fucking state lines because he said the beer is illegal in, I don't know, what, 10 states or something. That's overproof. Yeah. Sam Adam lied like the real Sam Adam. I'm bringing that shit in tomorrow. That guy's a liar. I'll bring that Millennium. shit in tomorrow. What's some of the other beers we got? <laughs> and I'm not giving you my Louis the Thirteenth because you're not going to treat it properly. I'm so people going to so drink it. my gift back. People going to drink it. They're going to drink it? I'm going to let people drink it. Yeah. Special occasions, though. Really special. All right. Like this is, but I want to make sure people know. Everything you've done know. for me, Patrice, I'm giving you my fucking bottle. Thank you. I don't need I'm gonna, it. You know what, what am I going to do, do with I'm going to Google it, print it out, what it is, and then send it out to anybody coming to the house to know what the fuck we did. See, see what excitement you get back. See if there's any kind of uh, buzz on it. All right? I am so angry. <laughs> I, was it I, Utopia? No, it was, it was Millennium. It was Some millennium. saying Utopia is three hundred fifty dollars a bottle. Can no, you put no, most expensive Sam Adams. I'm just saying this. No, it's things. that bottle, Patrice. I'm telling you. A college professor I'm paid you. four thousand nine hundred and ten dollars for uh, Sam a Sam Adams Millennium beer uh, at an auction for bottle number one. What bottle we have? Because he signed ours. Three thousand. Number forty <laughs> 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 three thousand one. <laughs> Sam Adams is that, is Millennium. That, is that, that's the one that's expensive. And yeah, it's but that's only not what we bucks. have. We don't that's have not that, the though. bottle. That's not the bottle. I'm positive. Maybe he changed the bottle. They, 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 Maybe they changed car, you know, design. It's that right there, down to the right. God damn it! No, not that shit. It's not it either. Fuck. He gave you ten dollar beer, but but you know what? Ten dollar beer is 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 special. Oh well, shit! Pretty much as opposed to dollar, Look, a dollar ninety nine. I think we're even. He gave us a ten dollar bottle of beer. And we a destroyed. Six pack is we, we destroyed his business for destroyed about five his years. Name for five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. maybe maybe it's a good trade. He had a rough five years because of us. Now no one remembers. There was a there was a day, Patrice, because of us. Cover the Boston Herald, all the bar owners pouring Sam Adams down the fucking sink. Why? Front fucking page, because us. Why? Because he was sponsored our dumb sex for Sam. Right. And but they, he didn't know what he was getting into. Because they felt it was bad. They said it's fine that it's causing domestic violence and drunk driving deaths, but the fact that Opie and Anthony used yeah. it as a stunt. <laughs> but hardcore. Fucking asshole Boston bar owners. Hardcore Irish bar owners pouring it down the fucking sink. Made the front page of the Herald. I would love to. Could you find that? Is there? Nah, probably not. Uh, that might be tough to find. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And unfortunately, we haven't talked to Jim Cook since, and he used to be a really good friend of the show. Oh, wow. He brought us on vacation with him. Yeah. The same guy? Everything. We were, did fucking gigs at his brewery, which is in the middle of the ghetto. Where at? Oh, man, it's... Uh, in Boston? Do you remember where it was, then? <laughs> Way no. in the ghetto. In Boston? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like in the middle of nowhere, too. Yeah, it was uh, It was scary getting in and out. Yeah, that's the bottle. That is it. That's <laughs> definitely <laughs> it. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. What a prick. <laughs> you four dollar beer. <laughs> Drink that shit when you get home, nigga. Yeah, right? Uh, I'm bringing it in down tomorrow. That. <laughs> I really thought we had something. I'm like saving that thing. Isn't it in a wood case, too? Oh, yeah, it's all fucking dollied up. The, yeah. the wood case is worth more. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, oh, this has to be good shit. Are you fucking serious? It's in a wood case? I'll tweet, I'll tweet it later. That was it. Wait, was it this stuff? Because this is different. Come on. That's it. Come on. This stuff is different than the triple. Yeah, but how much is it? I don't know. Right now. Right, I hope it's even on. less. It's $2. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's even less. Yeah, watch. Did ours have three M's on it? I think it did. Oh, it was come a millennium. On. I think Mike, Come on, let's Mike's, roll this dice again. Mike's heart is more <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Come on. I can't even find it for sale. <laughs> oh, so, see, it's very know. rare. It's yeah. very rare. You yeah. can't buy this yeah, shit, buy right? It. We're the only ones Look, with it. Look, unopened rare, three down. Sam Adams, Millennium, Ale, Triple M. All right, Come here on. we go. Come, Come on. on.
Come on, Come on, bitch. How much? There's the case. Come on. Sold for. There's the case. What? $14. That's the case. <laughs> Shut the up, case. That's, the That's the wood case. Very the rare, hand signed. This is probably the one you guys have. All right, hand, hand signed. signed. That's yeah. what we got. Come on. It says that. Uh, I see four thousand nine hundred ten dollars for forty nine hundred. Other Take limited. That! Other limited edition Take bottles that! go for more person. than a thousand in online auctions. Take that! All right. I would have laughed so hard if you, you broke it and then realized that was the one you had. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you found a way to have some self esteem behind this stupid beer that you know is nine bucks. But we're gonna, I, I know, you have I believe a wooden me. box too. Look, I'll I'm yeah. gonna, I'll make a video. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna and show how expensive it? it is, and then I'm gonna take a hammer to mine. Oh wow! Those type of videos do very well on. And the it's wrong. liquor or I'll it's beer. It. It's like hardcore, over the top. Five hundred proof like fucking. beer, but the process they do, it, it, they put it through so much that it uh, it becomes like liquor. Yeah, it becomes like cognac. It's twenty one percent. Wow, is that a lot? As yeah, I say, yeah, wow, is that a lot? For beer, of course fuck. it is. What is that the, the equivalent of? It's like uh, a... Like a uh, 21%. What is that? Vodka's what? 40. Uh, Vodka's 40? Yeah. All, most spirits are 40. It's like a, a liqueur. Oh, okay. Liqueurs are usually a, around a 20%. Liqueur. All right, so it's... Or a lick him. It's like a, like Jägermeister. <laughs> you know, something like that. Yeah, that's it. So with two shots case. equal one shot. Of like case. Vodka or something. That's it right there. That's with, the shit. With the blue felt. Right. <laughs> All right, where's the price? Why was I rooting well, against it? It's very difficult to find. I, I'm having trouble I love finding that you're uh, rooting for against us. <laughs> I know. It makes me very happy. Jimmy wants it to be worth nothing. Of course. Or break it when it's worth a lot. Yes. So what is it? $10 or worth $5,000? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, because that's the thing. There's, there's, there's two different ones. There's but knowing Jim Cook, he probably gave us the cheap one, thinking it was the, you know, and just put it in the nice box. Well, if, box. A, if it says triple box on it, it's 10 bucks. If it's a, if it has three M's on it, I it's like it might, five grand. I think it might be triple Bach because we've been saying uh, triple Bach for years. No, but I think he gave us triple Bach once. Really? And then he gave us the Millennium because I remember Fuck, seeing I the, better, the the case says Millennium on it. I better find that fucking bottle, man. Oh, I God that, damn it! Huh? Now I gotta find it. Yeah. I might have ditched it thinking it was. Oh, in the move? I don't know. Now I'm a little scared. I'm gonna take a look, yo. Five thousand though. Four thousand anyway, right? Yeah, but you start? said that they were signed and numbered and stuff, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Was there a number on it? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I think every bottle was numbered. Well, because that's that's the good stuff. I mean, like, that trouble box shit's not going to be signed. All mobs, all membered. No, I don't put mine online for fucking sale, man. Yeah. Pay for my trip. Why not? Apparently, this is very rare. Joking. There's only 3,000 bottles. Yes. Yeah, that's about That's it. Only 3,000, and we have two of them. There you go. Nice. We're in. <laughs> Ain't worth shit. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't even drink that shit. <laughs> huh? And I'll drink anything. Let me say hi to Bill. Uh, hello. Hello, Bill. Bill. Hey, gentlemen. How are you? Yeah, that shit. It's nothing but triple bark in the fancy 750 milliliter bottle. It's, triple bark was only $7 a bottle in the store. It's just in a nice bottle with a nice case and stuff. It ain't worth nice, shit. Really. No, I mean... It would be great for it would be great for the show if we had the shitty one, but now we're starting to think that maybe yeah, we, might we have do the have one, the good so, one. So blow me. Yeah. We well, should we should have stopped where we were and make everyone believe that we that got we fucked. Got but fucked over. I really think we uh, actually got one of those nice bottles. I'm gonna look. That's worth a few bucks. No, you do. It was one of the limited edition. I believe there was only a thousand. I used to work for a distributor and a liquor store. You said time. three thousand. What's right. the matter with you? You listen to the show. All right, Bill. Thanks. Hey, uh, so are we going to get the Ronnie B. update from Oscar? I, I hope forget. so. Yeah, Where's where, Oscar? Where is that dummy? Ronnie B.'s appendix ruptured. I'm hearing he's going to be just fine. But uh, we, pain, man. we told Oscar to get to the bottom of it. So let's see what Oscar found out. I wonder if he uh, had any pain beforehand. You got to have a sudden, pain, right? Like, I can't picture it just rupturing out of nowhere. That is pain. Guy must have had a little pain. Patrice, this is Oscar. Don't worry, he's very no, he's a very nervous. Very nervous. Like you he, could take Jimmy. Where's Jimmy? Is Jimmy coming back? Bathroom here. Oh, bathroom. Yeah, then go over that there. Jimmy will be back. He's very nervous. So how'd you do? Hey, oh yeah, I, I was able to go on Twitter and then um. Whoa, what? whoa, whoa! You oh, didn't you didn't say hi. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You didn't even say hi to Patrice. <laughs> hey Patrice, how's it going? Hey man, how are you? Oh, just uh, hanging in there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all righty, so. Do you know you like Patrice? Yeah, yeah. What do you like about him? Yeah, oh, he's a jolly fellow. <laughs> jolly, you know. Yeah, friendly, friendly. Yeah. 
So Why you know, are your clothes said, fucking <laughs> too small? <laughs> What's up? Why, Why is your shirt so small? The, ro- the proper fit clothing, man. <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to be? What the your fuck is wrong is with really you, man? Small. You're bursting out. It's not even that it's tight. If that oh, makes sense, it's small. Oh, what happened was that um, I, I, I did laundry um, la- the week ago, and then I went out, <laughs> and I was in Wildwood this weekend, yeah. and I had a bunch, like, a lot of buffet, like three times in a row, you know, buffet. Uh-huh. So I, I, I ate a lot, so I, I think I put on a couple pounds, so that's why it looks a little tight. But weren't you working out? You yeah, talking- no, I'm still in the process of that, though, but this weekend, you know, I just, I kind of uh, just, yeah, didn't do anything this weekend. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong, Patrice? I just... <laughs> What's wrong? Why are all these people uncomfortable? Like, I don't, I don't, he is I don't, very uncomfortable. He's extremely uncomfortable. He's got a... We noticed his shirt's a bit small, Jimmy. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. No, no. And, and you're still sweating from the rain. Right? Oh, no. I think I'm pretty dry now. Yeah? Yeah, just... And why is your shirt wide open? It's, what are you it's just always? creepy tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a little too tight. Your buttons, your buttons are like there's wrinkles around the buttons where they're stretching the material. Well, well if I go up this 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 high, then it's just gonna become more tighter. So I just it's gonna create right. Yeah. Well, why don't you just more, throw tighter. the shirt out? It's it doesn't fit you. Okay. Or are you hoping to get back down to a size where it'll fit? Yeah. I thought that you would try to encourage me to and, just. And that's all I know about Patrice is that he's jolly. Oh, oh yeah. I'm all, jolly? Yeah. <laughs> he said jolly. <laughs> Fucking miserable. Yeah, I know. I, I, I just, uh, Don't say that about Have Patrice. you seen his uh, stand up? No. Oh. Wow. wow. Uh, to be honest, I'm. You know, you don't like black comedians? No, no, no. I didn't oh say that. God. No, I just. said no three I just, times. No, I just. I just you, you don't like I, black I have comedians. To, yeah, I have to just write yeah. things down because you just try to remember, you know, to check things well, out. Is like anything that has eyes that can look. And see how awful he's fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Just stop. Why are you so nervous? Just sweaty and tight. Do you write things down to remember them? I'm, I'm sorry. Do you write things down to remember them? Yeah, yeah. Like, did you write down shrink shirt? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> Like, I was doing laundry a couple sweaty. weekends just, ago. I just, it just yeah, happened. Yeah, he's, he's a wreck. Like a giant dressed up clam <laughs> <laughs> with a hairstyle. He's just like a, a Disney hair. character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you should just start singing a song. Yeah. Ill fitting there. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yes. Now, what what have you found out? We we gave oh, you yeah. a mission. Okay. We yes. heard that Ron Bennington from mm-hmm. the Ron Fez show. Uh, had an exploded pen appendix. Okay, okay, yeah. That's now uh, we gave you the mission to go out and get all the info. Because I don't know we why because he everything. called him Bonnie B. Yeah, <laughs> Bonnie. He's like, who's that, Bonnie B? What? <laughs> look at him. Uh, don't look at your notes. Oh no, no notes. No. Okay. Well, off the top of your head, we oh, just want to. you find out. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, I know I went on the Twitter. We had two oh two friends. Um, and the. Uh, no, we said, what are you doing? Oh, no, that's for the so. And, um, let's see what this is. So there's no show today. Rawlings of a madman. Yeah, no, oh, that's just from, like, well, yeah. Like, oh, my God, it's jo- it's like John Doe from Seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened to Ronnie B? He threw up on somebody on the train. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened to Bonnie B? Let's go. Oh, okay. So uh, they're just running the best of today. Uh, no, according but to what the happened? Oh, the append- appendix. Uh, it, it um it um it hurt. I mean, I know last week he was I was complaining about some pain or he wasn't feeling so good. Oh yeah. And then, yeah, and then I just went on the Twitter and then just found out that you know he uh, they, it exploded. It took him to a hospital. So last week, so they're they're treating him right now. Actually, I, I had uh, I had an experience because my father actually had that ten years ago. We didn't ask about your father. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so when, when is he going to be uh, back? Oh, that's going to. I think it's going to take at least a couple of weeks though, because what happened? I know what? once it explodes, they have to leave it open, and then the nurse have to come every morning and have to kind of clean it out. Yeah. That's, I mean, it depends on like, how bad it was. There's and, something here that says something plus Kenny. Ron oh, B is well, dead. I, I asked Kenny and see what if he knew anything about it. According to him, he was dead. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. that one. Yeah. We were in the office. Oh, okay. oh, Sam also supported that, so I mean, just trying to you know pull. Your notes little... make me sick. You're the yeah. worst reporter. Oh, <laughs> what? what's wrong? With you? <laughs> it just says Ron and Fez. Yeah, best of. Yeah. Four Twitter, <laughs> two hundred two friends. Mm-hmm. Appendix rupture. Mm-hmm. Dead. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> his notes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's it. All right, he's not dead. Oh, okay, no, well, we yeah. don't need problems between the show. Oh no, no, I just got the last one. He's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But he, uh, you know, he's he's got a burst appendix. He's. A, so it's, I it, guess they got to get the poison out. Yeah, oh, yeah. With a drain. Yeah, yeah. So, so two weeks. 
<laughs> oh, I'm gonna say, well, if it was last week, yeah, yeah. I mean, because he must be a wreck, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Fezzy somebody was, said something about uh, no, no. Um, what? what do you call it, pain medication? I mean, somebody just said something. I don't know who it was, but uh, I know somebody said on the Twitter he wasn't able to to get the uh, medication or something. I don't know. Uh, I what, know. what does that mean? Oh, I don't know. I, I, Why? I just read it in there. So, but that's, you didn't say it. Oscar, it's a personal like, thing. We don't know what you're talking that about. Up. Yeah. No, no. Should I, really I, the FBI I, should go through Oscar's notes, by the way. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is serious. What else you find? Immigration. Yeah. China. Oh, that was from a couple weeks ago. That I was trying to come up with Fish um, burn porn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was Kill the, remember? No, <laughs> was, that's like his notes. Yeah, yeah. From like last time, I was trying to come up with topics, so I was just kind of writing. Hey, you just read the headlines, that, Patrice. That's a bad one to just. By the way, that's not here. really a note. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not, sorry. Yeah, you, 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 you never know. Let me let me, let me say that I, I, I am embellished that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was joking. And... Wyclef for president. Yeah, let me say that I was joking. Right. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What's the matter with Wyclef? Why don't want? Why won't Wyclef? Why why won't they allow him to be president? Lisa Lisa Lebanelli had a funny thing on Facebook. Yeah. She said. uh What's wrong with Wyclef being president? If we can elect an unqualified black man, why can't they? It's funny. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a good one. Patrice's <laughs> <laughs> face. I don't think Patrice appreciates it. He may not, but... Once they, again, it advice. was a joke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know, I but know, you got to be careful. Know, I'm just trying to help you out. No, I know. All right. Yeah, that's all. Know. That's all. Well, help him out. Yeah. Oscar. Yes. Gonna miss you, brother. Oh, yeah. You're done? Yeah. Uh, Friday, yeah. Friday's my Friday. last day. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. All yeah. right. Yes. So we got you for a couple more days. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, like that. I think we got the goodbye to the interns by uh, Troy oh. Kwan, actually. A good way to end the show today. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. All oh, interns like are leaving? A tribute. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're losing this crew. We're losing a good crew, man. Are we really? Do you ever miss them? Yeah, yeah let's, let's be what's your, put it into what's perspective. What's the greatest crew ever? Oh, They've yet to come. <laughs> They're working for the show. Yeah, they were we the hired first, all of them. The first group. We hired yeah. all of them. Oh, the ones that you all interns at the same yeah. time, and we just said fuck it. We're so they were the best. Sam or the first. wasn't an original. Was Sam an original, Danny? Sort of. Not in any nah, way. He came in. I think. I think he was third shift. Travis was second shift. You were first. Yeah, I was first. Who was so original? You with, and Eros? It was like Fan. Naomi, Than, and Derek. Fan were, that went so on to better things. <laughs> Where is Than? I was playing video games at his house, probably. <laughs> 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 fucking. Who fucking David Fan Russo? <laughs> David. I'm gonna leave New York undercover, go do movies. <laughs> Alright, Oscar. Cool. Yeah, that was a weird one. Awesome. All right, uh, Patrice, thank you. Improv this weekend. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Once Improv. again, I'm in DC joking. About the thing, please. Of course, please yeah, yeah. don't fucking make this a big deal. No, they, they, they won't. They won't. It's fine, oh, Lord. Uh, yeah. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday, one show Sunday. DCimprov.com. You never know. It's this is a weird fucking world. That's no, all. I'm, I'm dead it's a dumb no, world. I'm not, I'm not tripping, like being sarcastic at yeah. all. I'm just saying it's it's a damn shame. You're fucking people joking. I'm joking. Yeah, you gotta be always. I'm making I'm making them out to be a psycho, so you can't. Yeah. Like, so actually, that's like what, that would be a psycho thing. Like I gotta so explain you just the bit. Like These joke. people. This crazy. Jesus. Yeah, it, some guy. Really some is. fucking guy. The MIB guys are coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big Mama <laughs> Prods on Twitter. A great uh, Twitter to follow. Don't tase me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, well, give me a wide berth on the expressway, people. Jesus Christ. I'm going to need all, all three lanes oh, today. You're just, you're just swerving. <laughs> I'm going to need all three lanes. So, so, so oh, when can I expect this fucking Louis XIII, my friend? Mm. You going to send it to me? You're going to hold me to it, right? Yeah. Why would you say it? We're not I'm showbiz joking. friends. I'm, you I'm have joking. To give me that shit. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> I want it. Because I don't know what to do with it. Give it to it's me. It's going to just sit in my house for another time. few years. Who cares? Yeah. I'll give it to you. About time. Everything you give me done something to drink. I'll give it to you. Next time you're in. Yeah. Someone's just got to remind me, and I'll like hand it right see, over. No I like, joke. I like to see your house, too. Really? I would love to. Do you make you, people take their shoes off? <laughs> no. Oh, <God. laughs> no, fucking I hate no. that. Could you no. take your shoes off? Fuck make you. Anybody take their shoes off. No. Take my shoes Give a off. Fuck if you got Ebola on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking just keep your shoes on, stupid. And 400 million eggs. We have, we have to report 400 million eggs of recall. Recall. That's oh, a lot right. of fucking eggs. What's wrong with the eggs? What well, could possibly uh, be wrong with eggs? They Salmonella. say it's salmonella, but you know what it is? What, they left them in the sun too they, long or something? They, needed va they need to grow vaccines um, in the eggs. The H1N1 vaccine was grown oh. in eggs, and no one took the vaccine. So now you got a bunch of vaccine eggs just sitting out there that they're trying to sell. But they, they, that H1N1 is a bust, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they're coming up was, with something else soon. Yeah, we'll get a new one this uh, so season. Got to have one every season, right? So we can stick ourselves with something to save us. Yeah, yeah. Like from what was polio. the first one? The bird flu? Boy. No, what was the Fucking one? Fucking bird flu, SARS. 
SARS. No, what was Remember the SARS vaccine, was going to sweep the whole nation? Like three kids oh. with big shoes and then yeah. <laughs> Big shoes. And, with the braces and, on their yeah, feet. Metal, metal gates on their knees. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just... Jimmy and Ed on Red Eye tonight. Uh, yes. yes, I am hosting and Ed is a guest. <sighs> yes. We'll be that taken be to fun. task. Oh, that was fun. Last time we did it. Yeah, uh, yeah about That's a month or so ago. How come you're not doing ago. these things, sir? I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't I'm want to do those shows. I'd like to be on TV to. again, but I, I need to find something that I would be, you know, it's interested fun, in. Especially with Jimmy hosting. It's just yeah, like it's a, a It's just a politics thing. It's uh, a goof. Yeah, yeah. What other halfway ugly, halfway cute cunt is going to be on the show with you? <laughs> I don't know who's on tonight, but I imagine it's a very good show. <laughs> halfway ugly. Yeah, You're right, though. Some almost cute. cute. Cutie, ugly, it's white bitch. Almost that don't cute. Know shit. Almost cute. It's be funny with the fellas. And then some old guitarists and then somebody gay from another country will be simulcast. Can we attack them after we air it? How about tomorrow morning? Hey, uh, let's get out of here before we get in more trouble. Good, this is called Goodbye to the Interns from Troy Kwan.